So we've gotten a couple boys to come into a house and we're going to have a reality dating, dating show. show. We're going to have the boys do different challenges and I'm just going to get to know them and see who wins my heart. And then we're going to slowly eliminate some guys throughout the week and we'll see who wins. I've been single for three years now and I think it's time to settle down and actually you know, not just like casually talk to someone, but to find love. So I guess my ideal guy is someone who's smart, athletic, obviously very cute, but in the end, it's really like their heart that speaks more to me. Like if they're kind, if they treat others nicely, and if they treat people with respect, and if they have integrity. I think a big deal breaker for me is someone who doesn't respect my career and that my career is first, always. I think my sister knows me very well to help me pick out the right guy. I'm really excited that she's on the show helping me. Let's do this. Here we go. Oh. oh. Okay, the door is opening. <gasps> oh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> He's cute. I yeah. like his shirt. It's just gray. I don't know. I just. <laughs> oh, oh, guy, too. There's just. Ooh. <laughs> He's cute. <laughs> no way. I like his jacket. <laughs> well, oh. Why did he do that? <laughs> is he a dancer? I like his hair, too. <laughs> He's got a dimple. Ooh, I see. <laughs> He's oh, really he smart. Cute. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Some pretty good options. Here's oh my gosh. What does he do? He's an editor. Does he edit YouTube videos? He does. He reminds me of like Taylor Lautner kind of. <laughs> oh. This house is ridiculous. Like I've never been in anything like this. Where are you from? <laughs> I'm from Florida. Sorry. Oh. Oh. just a bunch of tension that just built up just now. I know. As soon as he walked he in. He didn't even say hi to anyone. Oh, there's another guy. <gasps> Ooh, his arms. Arms are a weakness of mine. I feel weird judging these boys based I know, off their looks, too. right? Like, off the bat. I want to, like, get to know these guys. Send in the next guy. Alex! <laughs> what is that? What is Alex here? I am about to compete with all these dudes. Vanessa's heart. Vanessa and Veronica don't know I'm coming, but I'm coming. Because they know that the Wasabian family and the Twinner family all ship you guys, so let's see if you, there's something there. Okay, so what do you oh. think, overall thoughts? I think we just gotta see who's gonna be the best one, gotta get to know them, let them do the challenges. Luckily, right off the bat, somebody cracked a joke and we all started palling around. There are a bunch of dudes looking at me like competition. I'm kind of like, have my eye on a few of them, you know, they might act nice, but we'll, we'll see later on how the True Colors show. Shall we go meet them? Meet them? Ah! Okay. Hey guys! Hey. are going to be trying to win the heart of my identical twin sister, Vanessa. So why don't we meet her? Oh. Oh. This is oh. Hi, everyone. Hi. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Good. <laughs> I'm Vanessa. I couldn't have pictured a, a better girl to come walking down that stairs. There's two of them, and they are the cutest and sweetest girls ever, and I'm really excited to get to know them. Vanessa is honestly gorgeous, and I could definitely see me uh, talking to her more and uh, seeing where it goes. They honestly gave me a very like good first impression. I don't know if it's their smiles, but they look very like genuine, like nice people. We're going to be playing a game to get to know you guys right off the bat. We're going to be playing Never Have I Ever. Oh. I've played this game before and it can get quite revealing. I'm going to ask you questions and you guys raise your hand if you have and if you haven't, just keep it down. So these are kind of simple questions. Um, never have I ever cheated on a test. 
Wait, so we raise our hand? Raise raise you you have have I knew <laughs> everyone here would forget that. Yeah, I did. Raise your hand if you have. Am I supposed to play? Yeah. 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 <laughs> 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 what about Matt? Dude, he's the angel in the crowd. Yeah, he's he not With the leather jacket on. Seriously? Yeah, boy. You've never cheated in your life. You've never cheated in your life. You've never cheated. Not even on homework. Come on, Matt. When you were in third grade, you looked over it. <laughs> Have I cheated on a test? I don't think so. Here's a risque one. Never have I ever skinny dipped. All right. So All the Florida kids. Yeah, Florida kids. A lot of Florida people, so like shout out Florida. And I am not from Florida. Thank God. Okay, never have I ever broken a bone. Oh, yes. no. What did you break? I broke my hip, my elbow, and my ankle before. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Back in my career when I was a like cool body. skater boy, I shattered my wrist in five pieces. <gasps> Never yes. skated again. Never have I ever gotten a tattoo. <sighs> Oh, uh, what do you have? Okay, I have so much. <laughs> <laughs> like, I just say I have this. Which one, which, which one would you keep though if you had to keep one? I want uh, to probably right. my stomach one. It's like my fist goal. Yeah. Which one? That's sick. Whoa. I think Brandon's my biggest competition here. That man has nice hair, nice tattoos. He was just like, Ugh. and I was like, oh, <laughs> okay. Brandon had to lift his shirt and show his tattoos. Never have I ever been cheated on. Yeah. As far as I know. I've been uh, hurt in my past before. I've been cheated on twice, so it makes me keep my guard up just a little bit more. Never have I ever been in a talent show. Oh, I have, yeah. Okay, well that's perfect because it leads into Should the next I? thing that we're gonna do. We're gonna be doing a talent show. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so the talent show is gonna be where you guys showcase us something that you have a talent of. Oh boy. Um, that's whack. Like, they sprung it on us so quick, and I'm not very talented, so fingers crossed it goes well. We'll give you about like 30 minutes just to like think about it or like to prepare. Talent show? I'm ready, I'm prepared, and I'm gonna win it. I have no clue what to do. You, you come with me for a second. Okay. Oh, whoa. All right, so Alex is here, and it's funny, but like the first chance I get to pull him aside and talk to him, I'm gonna take it because. Like, why is he here? That boy. Oh my gosh. I love Alex, but I've been friends with him for years. So I know the path to Nessa's heart. I think I got it. I think okay. we've been friends for a while. Do you have a talent? Are you ready for the talent? Show? I have no talents. It seems a little odd that Alex Wasabi knows the twins. It seems like it's kind of, you know, an unfair advantage. I mean, I just gotta play my cards right, and you know, competition for me, not for them. So right now the guys are prepping for the talent show and I'm super nervous. I don't know what they're going to do. Everyone seems so different and I feel like they each have their own different like skills and talents. So I'm really excited to see. I know, you should have seen the look on some of their faces when I said a talent show. Some of them were like, and then some were like, yeah. <laughs> So I saw these guys that have been pulling Vanessa to the side. You know, I took that time to perfect my song just to hopefully impress her. And you know, I just hope she likes it because that time I could have spent time talking to her. Talking to Vanessa is going great. And then Brandon just walks in in the middle of it. Meanwhile, I'm having a great conversation. It just cuts me off. I need to watch out for that man. Yeah, I pulled her over. I don't I don't really care. Uh, I'll talk to her any day of the week and I'll pull her away from any of the other guys. How long have you been out here? Two weeks. Two weeks? Yeah. <laughs> Two, Two weeks. weeks? I thought it'd be super funny and a great addition to this show if we brought our dad along. Because we're very family oriented and if the guys don't get along with our dad, it may be a deal breaker. But the catch is the guys don't know he's our dad. <laughs> Uh, we're pretending that he's our manager. The advice I give to these guys is really, really simple. Don't be a boy, be a man. All right, uh, welcome to the talent show. You guys ready? Yeah. All right. So uh, first up, Tim. Tim, where are you at? Bring it on. Most people will go like, whoa, that's amazing, because most people can't do it. Timothy was kind of a devastating blow. He came out strong. He kind of took it to the like the next level and he started like slamming his body and spinning all around on the ground. 
and he had me sold, honestly. Like, he's a great dancer. I thought that was really cool. And I have a thing for dancers. Do we have any grapes? Oh. All right. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Okay. I mean, a grape in the mouth, come on. How high do you think that ceiling is? Mm -hmm. Okay. Here, three is good. I can do three it. Good. You get lost. I believe you. Five four. Oh. <laughs> He's still going. Oh, right there, right there. Yeah, yeah. I ran up the stairs for that. That's impressive as heck, dude. Three, two, one, go. Let's go. Oh! Kind of hoping he'd fail, but like he didn't. <laughs> Talent complete. <laughs> He's a definite ham. Matt is up. I'll let you explain what you're going to do. So I haven't done a handstand in a while, so there's probably a 50% chance that I'm just going to fall over. So crossing my fingers and hoping it goes well. Oh! oh. I'm teaching you guys how to use sign language today. <gasps> oh, so yeah, uh, uh, background. So your name, name is a little I. It is. So then B. B. A. N. E. E. S. A. A. And then we can do one more quick one, so you know. So this is I. Mm -hmm. L, L. And Y. Y. So if you put them together, can you get to that spells? Oh, I I love you. Christian, you're up, man. Oh, what's up? Uh -oh, he's gonna be making table? some food. So I made for you some creme brulee, Ooh. and I don't, I mean, some people have like um, dairy problems or sugar problems. So I made one regular one, and then I made a dairy-free one. Just... Oh, sorry. <laughs> are you? Are you like? Yes, I knew it. Oh, <laughs> yes. So creme brulee, you have the custard on the bottom, oh. and then the top is a, a layer of sugar that you oh. melt. You start with the corners and the sides. Mm -hmm. so oh. you, you want to try it? Yeah. Oh. So then again, you start on the sides. I kind of fell in love with him a little bit, because I love creme brulee. Are we done? Woo! <laughs> I'm sure you can win the competition for that. When you break it, like take the bottom of the spoon uh -huh. and then just smack it. Oh! And now you can get in. This makes me so happy. Cecil, he's gonna he's break the song for you. Yes, huh? All right, so uh, I have to look at the lyrics because I haven't memorized it. Hey Vanessa, how's it like in this sweet city? I hail from the state of sunshine and wow, you are so pretty. <laughs> Did you hear the crazy story? I ended up in Vegas, drove five hours. I think I need some coffee. <laughs> Vanessa. I thought it was a little I cheesy and you. some of it didn't really rhyme. <laughs> Vanessa. Let's go on a date or two. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ronnie, you seem cool too. <laughs> This is so sweet. Oh my gosh. I don't know if anyone's ever written a song for me. And he's singing about his journey today. Coming to you and meeting you. And then he threw me in the song. Hey. <laughs> so Alex H is going to talk to us about the doomsday algorithm. Is yeah. that right? When I was in statistics class in high school, my professor could, like any day, any year, he could tell you what day of the week it was. So I'm gonna try and do it. It's been a while. I'm not really good at math. It's all in your head. Um, if you want to start with something easy, like your birthday, I could try and tell you what day of the week it was when you were born. Okay. August 6, 1996. Uh, <laughs> he's like, oh, he's getting fancy. Okay, like, oh, hey, he's, he's giving you a run for your money. Oh, I'm trying to do math I'm yet. sorry. <laughs> Tuesday. I'm in, I'll take it. You wanna do it? Yeah, March 28th, 1997. Friday. Friday. Oh! No! <laughs> Friday. No! Alright, so Zach is going to perform a magic trick. 
I haven't done magic in a very long time, but I am going to need somebody's help from the audience and preferably okay. if the lady wouldn't mind. Um, so, sleight of hand is all about trying to deceive somebody right in front of their eyes, right? But as an added bonus, and hopefully to distract the audience a little bit, I'm going to do a shirt of this. Yeah, okay. yeah, okay. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to give these parts a quick shuffle so you know that I can tamper with them. I was like this... <laughs> I don't know! Like, it made me uncomfortable, but it was also kind of like... hot. All in one. So I'm gonna ask you to pick one. Okay. And I would have no idea what this card is. Okay. okay. So I want you to remember it, and then show it to the audience. I'll turn my back so I don't see anything. Okay. Okay. okay, so everyone has a general idea of what it is, so I want you to put it back on the top, okay? And I'm gonna shuffle it back the other day. One, two, three, four, and five. Call that good. I want you to hold out your hand like that. Hold pretty tight, but not too tight. Okay? Ready? Is that your card? Yeah. Oh. Brandon is going to try to beat a world record. This is two pounds of yogurt. <laughs> oh my. It's really dense. <laughs> Record's 40 seconds for a pound and a half. This is two pounds, so. Okay. Honestly, I might break the world record because I've tried it at home once, so why wouldn't I do it for everyone like here? There it is. Oh, he's getting Oh. Oh, he's like, bring chugging. Oh my gosh, he's doing it. Uh, he loves you. Oh, he's got it. Oh, he's got it. Oh, he's got it. Oh, he's got Chugging yogurt. Pretty disgusting. I'm gonna tell my kids about this, man. Seriously. Oh, that's a good one. It wasn't planned. Uh, she just, she just kind of did that. Yeah, Brandon had some yoga on his face, so I just wipe it off a little. All the guys got really jealous. All right, guys, we're gonna pick the MVP of this challenge, and we'll get back to you guys. All right, let's All right. go. How are you feeling? Dude, I don't know. This it is was, pretty hard. It was, it's so hard to pick someone who stole my heart because everyone brought something completely different to the table and I don't know, I don't know. Well, I don't know what to pick. Well, I know who to choose for MVP because they won my heart. <laughs> oh man. But little do the guys know is that we're choosing an MVP, the winner of the whole challenge, and then we're choosing someone who stole Nesta's heart, who gets to go on a date with just her. Ooh. I see everybody here has a little bit of talent. The competition has been raised. All these talented guys with muscles and stuff, I think I'm gonna go home. Zach came out with a magic trick and he took off his shirt and I was like, that's smooth, like. I mean, I don't want to talk bad on anybody. I think it's an even playing field. Everybody had a good talent, so we're sitting here having a good time. I was like, I'm gonna teach you how to cook, but it's pre-made. Oh, <laughs> whoa, whoa, dude. It was pre-made. Trevor Lay is a delicacy. You don't just whip it up. Christian's talent, I for sure think it was a little cheesy. Um, I think it was incredible, because I cannot make creme brulee. Oh, yeah, okay, awesome. so from their reactions, who do you think is gonna be? From their reactions. They were reactions. super impressed with the magic trick. Yeah, yeah. only after and it was then, done, though. And then you're silently with they're really into that. Yep. And then yeah. my great thing, I feel like you guys are more. I was hiding on that. I was hiding on that. I was hiding on that. I was hiding on I think the fact that he knows the twins is almost to my advantage because they haven't really gotten to realize how neat I am yet, and he's old news, so. Uh, so if you guys need anything, I got some answers. Oh, but okay. I might, I might be lying I to you. I might have to get your number. Yeah, it's competition yeah. still. I might be lying to you, but you never know. Here's the thing, so I've talked to so many guys already, but there's two who I haven't talked to yet, and it's Cecil, Cecil and, and Timothy. Timothy. Cecil is the one who wrote a song for her, uh -huh, and, and Tim it's Timothy mm -hmm. was the dancer, and I love dancers. Yeah, they've been gone for a while. Wait a minute, so oh, is, no. is somebody about to go home right now? Like, wait, they're about to be... Uh, oh, right now? Oh, no, 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 they're, they're picking an MVP. MVP. Oh, here they come, here they come. Whoa, oh, oh. Oh, All right, no. okay. Yeah, so we had some time to discuss. 
I do want to remind you guys that this is a dating show. So two of you are going to be eliminated later tonight. Oh. But, but there is an MVP and whoever the MVP is doesn't have any chance of getting eliminated. So they're safe. We were very impressed by all of you guys. It was honestly really hard to decide who to pick for the MVP. Uh, but for this talent show was Christian. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 We were very impressed. You were very prepared. I mean, you brought us creme brulee and it was delicious. Uh, you got me with the dairy-free one. <laughs> I'm so, so yeah. glad I did that. Yeah, yeah, it was it was great. So congratulations. I'm not going home. I'm safe. I'm excited. This is great. I'm in a good spot. Veronica told me that she liked dancers, so I was like, I got in this bag, and then when she announced it, I was kind of like heartbroken. There's also another winner. Oh. Whoa. Yeah. Okay. And you um, this winner is the one who won my heart for the competition oh. or the, throughout the day. Show. I really enjoyed his talent, and that's Timothy. I, oh, I love dancers, so you won my heart. A little do you guys know that you guys are going to get to have a one-on-one -on -one date tonight. Just you two, and you guys can get to know each other a little bit more. There was a surprise winner, and that was my boy Timothy. I guess I'm happy for him, but it should have been me. Honestly, I find it kind of ridiculous that I didn't win. I'm speechless, like, I don't really even know what to say right now. But I'm excited to go on a date with Vanessa and hopefully everything goes well. <gasps> no way! Oh my gosh! Look! I'm confused. Like, is this our date? Oh! <laughs> I didn't see it at first. <laughs> I was like, It's a fort! I know. Let's go in. Yep. Oh, look, a laptop. I think they're nervous. Like, he seemed kind of, I don't know, like all giggly and she was all giggly. You know when they're giggly, that's when they're like nervous. So how, how did you get into dancing? Oh. When I was young, I watched the movie You Got Served. Mm -hmm. And then that like inspired me to dance. And then like, and watch the movie over and over, like pause and be like, oh, I'm gonna try to do that move. And then that's basically what I did. I used to be really competitive. Like I used mm -hmm. to compete in competitions, do performances. No way, that's then, really cool. I cheered in high school and oh, stuff. Mm -hmm. So I can do like... <laughs> the Fortnite? Yes. Fortnite? It looked like you were doing the Fortnite. Yeah. That one? Yeah. I can do that. Oh my gosh. So do you dance at all? I can twerk. <laughs> Instantly, I felt like we had a little spark there, you know, a little connection, so that's a good sign. And so what are you looking for in a guy? <laughs> I don't know, someone who's just normal. Mm -hmm. You know, someone who lives a normal life and not involved with the Hollywood lifestyle, yeah. you know. I like someone who, who's, who doesn't really like social media. What's your favorite movie? Well, I have two favorite movies, but one is um, uh, Monty Python and the Holy Grail. I don't know, you've probably mm -hmm. never seen that. It's okay, it's like a cult classic thing. Mm -hmm. But then I really loved an anime movie called Your Name, and Your it's name? really cool. The guy, he switches bodies yeah, with the girl. with the girl. <laughs> that movie's like one of my favorites too. Me too. That movie's so good. Oh my gosh, <laughs> so much tea. So, the movie I picked for them to watch is Your Name, and I just learned that it's a his favorite anime movie too, and it's her favorite. This is kind of epic. Well, let's watch this movie and let's see what my sister picked for us to watch. <gasps> Wait, it's your... <laughs> really? It's your name. Does she know that's your favorite movie? Yeah, it's actually my wallpaper on my phone. A good guy is like when they like, it's an even conversation. Like they ask you questions and you ask them questions. And it seems like that's, what hap that's what's happening so far. Wow, I really chose the right person for that. Because we, well, we also talked about anime and just like uh, life and like his past relationship and just like his view on like LA and people and stuff. And I don't know, he was really, really sweet. I'm sure we have a lot more in common, but you know, I'll find that out 
on other dates because I'm about to try to win as much MVPs as possible. No, it definitely went very well. I, I think he's a good candidate. Candidate. Date. Candidate. You can say Is that both. a pun? <laughs> okay, so we're going to figure out who we think should be eliminated, and we're gonna cry and feel bad about it. But we'll see you guys at elimination time. Everyone seems pretty nervous. Yeah, being in this elimination room really puts it into perspective that this is a speed dating show, and it happens like that and I hope I made an impression. There's no way, I'm safe. So unfortunately, it is time for the elimination process. We're so sad to see two of you guys go, but it's been such a fun day getting to know you guys. We're going to have three people come down and be in the bottom three, but I will say Christian is safe because he won the MVP for the talent show. Tim is also safe because he had the one-on-one -on -one date. So you guys don't have anything to worry about. <laughs> All right, so the first person down to the piano, Matt. The second person, Alex. Wait, what? Wasabi. Wasabi. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. Are you not feeling what I felt? I can't believe she did this to me. After all we've been through, I'm her fake ex-boyfriend. The third person is... Veronica, I'm gonna have to volunteer myself as a third person. Unfortunately, I came to LA for acting and I found out earlier today that I have a big gig and they can't have any other days, so I really did come to the show thinking I was ready for love, mm -hmm. but right now I just gotta focus on my career, so I'm really sorry and I really appreciate being here, but this just isn't the time oh for me. Gosh. Sorry. We okay, respect yeah. that. Careers first, that's good, yeah. yeah. Okay. I got respect for Jay over here because honestly, like, business move, but I don't know if I could do the same. Like, after meeting Vanessa, I, I wouldn't want to leave. Okay, what a twist. <laughs> okay. The vibe in the room is like very tense, tense and things are getting a little awkward. interesting and awkward. <laughs> okay, so your yeah. Jay is unfortunately eliminated. One less down for me. I mean, thank you, Jay, I guess. <laughs> and Alex, it's been fun to have you here too and oh, know. you know hang out <laughs> one of you guys have to go and that person who's going to be eliminated sorry, is sorry. Alex what sorry man come on <laughs> what about our history together I'm... Alex Wasabi friend zoned sorry man you don't date your friends often and I didn't see it and I was right I thought we had chemistry I think we're just good as friends. Eliminating Alex was like a no-brainer. I was like, bye, he has to go because I know him. I want to give the other boys a chance. You know, he can get in line for later on. <laughs> but like, I want to get to know everyone else oh. and have... <laughs> okay. I'm misreading the signal. I thought... <laughs> Why are you trying to kiss me? Like, no, please don't. <laughs> okay, you can go. Dude, you cannot just go in for a kiss like that. That made the room awkward. And Bye, Alex. Yeah, Alex. Oh, so sorry. Oh. It was really great to get to know you. Oh, boys. Yeah. At the end of the day, it's really awesome how Veronica yeah. and Vanessa understand just what it means to be a career-oriented type of person. And for them to appreciate and understand that just really means a lot to me. I'm out of here, guys. But words of advice, keep your head in the game, because I did not think I was going home today. So Matt, that means you are safe and you can rejoin the group on the stairs. Yay! Thank you, oh my gosh. Okay, that was so close. From now, I need to just not be so in the background all the time. I think I need to put myself out there more so she sees me. So I didn't eliminate Matt because I feel like he, I wanna give him another chance to I don't know, break out of his shy shell. Like, I, I know what it's like to be in a position where you don't know anyone and you're in, you feel awkward. And 
I think everyone deserves like second chances. Hope you guys had a fun first day. You guys need to get a lot of rest because tomorrow is going to be very busy and full of a lot of exciting and fun things. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Yeah. Tomorrow kind of scares me a little bit. I thought I had today in the bag and I was definitely taken down a peg. So I'm going to bring my A game and see if I can't rise the ladder a little bit. Yeah, I'm really excited to see what tomorrow brings. I hopefully we have like some physical activity, like maybe something in teams, that'd be really fun. Now that we have eliminated two guys, comment down below who you think is going to steal Nessa's heart in the next episode. Make sure to turn on the bell button to get notified when the next episode comes out because I promise you, you're not gonna wanna miss it. And give this video a big thumbs up for love. And subscribe to Awesomeness TV. While you're at it, subscribe to our channel too. And we'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye. Every time he's talked to me, he's really sweet. I'm getting mesmerized by him. I'm really surprised by Christian. Tension's palpable right now. I didn't expect him to call me out like that, especially in front of all the guys. And we just won't discuss anything. It's a competition anything. at the end of the day, bro. Yeah. Well, like, it may have seemed like I was calling you out in front of everyone, but I had to make a point. Hey guys, I'm Veronica. I'm Vanessa. This is a dating show where I help find my sister her perfect match. If you haven't seen the first episode, you should go watch it by clicking the little eye up there. Check it out. So the guys that are left in the house that are currently trying to fight for Vanessa's heart are... So yesterday I did get in the bottom three, so going in today, I am going to pull Vanessa aside. And I'm a little nervous, but I think it's what I need to do, so hopefully it goes well. I had a one-on-one -on -one date with Vanessa, so I'm feeling pretty great. You know, I really got to know her more deeply than I believe the other guys. I'm ready to pop off my shirt. As you see, I came prepared and dive in. I'm gonna get to know her on a more like intimate level, I would say, and try and like bring those things up in conversation. She's awesome, like I love talking to her. She's definitely someone that I click with. It's one thing to talk to a girl one-on-one, -on -one, but it's another thing to try to always fight for attention. Just not me. I'm here to make a connection and potentially find love. Well, I just woke up and I think I'm gonna surprise everyone with a little bit of French toast just to start the day off right. Are you making anything I, other I, than French toast? Uh, no, just French toast. I don't want French toast, though. I'd like to put it in order for eggs benedict or maybe a big old lot. Um, call me tomorrow and I'll see <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So we go downstairs and all the boys are just standing there having fun and they're talking with each other. And then all of a sudden, Christian pulls out stuff to make French toast. What are oh you doing? My gosh. <laughs> what are you making? I am making French toast. <gasps> French toast? Yeah. Do you make cinnamon French toast? Yes, I make cinnamon. That's already cinnamon in here. Really? Wow. Wait, yeah. what is this? He was just making French toast, assuming we all wanted French toast. I thought that was kind of whack, honestly. He had already taken all the supplies, the milk, the eggs, everything. Just trying to show off his cooking abilities again. You gotta get a new gimmick, man. It's been two times now. Yeah. Oh, that's okay. Whoa, no. whoa, whoa. My mom. What are you doing? Like <laughs> Bro, he puts his milk for his cereal. Why? 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 Look at this. <laughs> Who now you're gonna get like no cereal in there. <laughs> this is all in the milk. Milk. You drink the milk at the end? <laughs> yes. yes. Oh. Cecil putting the milk before cereal was about the weirdest thing I've seen this year. Uh, I had to rag on him a little bit about that. Uh, you know, it's soggy cereal's good. Uh, we understand that a bunch of guys in the same house, there's obviously gonna be like a little bit of like picking on and teasing. And teasing. But like for us, when we're looking for guys, like, you know, they gotta be nice. Yeah. And you know, if it's gonna be teasing, it's gotta be light teasing. And so I feel like there's a little bit of crossing the line. Look at this. Sure. I'll mix. Yeah, Look what mix. I'm doing. And then, oh wow, sauce it. Dip it, get like both sides of it. And then just throw it on the pan. Just throw it on there? Mm -hmm. Oops. Look at that. Look at that. This like over the top, obnoxious food thing he's doing, it's, it's ridiculous. And he's, honestly, I hope he leaves tonight. I really do. You flip it and Oops. I will start cleaning. Oh no, I messed it up. <laughs> That's okay. I messed it up. No. Here, I'm coming, I'm coming. You didn't mess up. What are you talking yes. about? Sorry. That looked perfect. I was like, do you want to flip the other one? Sure. Okay. Yeah, I think Christian's the guy who's really trying 
a little too hard. Look at that. That's perfect. It's a dairy free version. Oh, dairy free one. And he said he's got a dairy free recipe too, so. Wow. Dairy free. I'm ready. I'm ready. Christian has a very good way of working himself in with Veronica and Vanessa, and I feel like a lot of the other guys are oblivious to what's going on, so I just felt the need that I gotta step in, I gotta break this up, at least like have my presence there, because if he's the only one around Vanessa, then that's obviously, she's gonna get to know him more than anyone else. So Matt steps up to the plate and starts cooking with us, and I mean, he's definitely here to step up the game and make his presence known. Is it good? This is amazing! So the guys are sitting over at the little kitchen table and they're like not even paying attention to us. And you know, it's not even even the group date yet, but like you gotta get as much time as you can with us, you know? And yeah. So there were some missed opportunities there. They were kind of being loud too. We're playing, it's a game called Car Talk. It's definitely fun, I mean, everyone's playing it. Everyone's loving it. Honestly, the guys had a lot of fun with him cooking and doing his thing. We play cards, we learned this new game. Um, I think we should try and play that, that game with Vanessa later. I think she'll like that a lot more than French Toast. I just love when guys teach me how to do things that they love and they're passionate about and it's super cute and what was really sweet was that Christian not only made French toast for us but made French toast for the guys and everyone else and I don't know I just like a caring soul and I think that really impresses me and that says a lot about Christian. I'm not gonna eat it but it's fine. Why it's so good. Ooh. Wait, so I know, now you want to eat it, right? So, right. You should try it, it's good. <laughs> Thank you. No, I kind of, I kind of You're missing out. You said something about the sixes. It's really good. Thank you, Christian. You're welcome. Yeah, thank you. I think I played my cards right with this whole cooking thing, because I got to share like a sweet little moment with Vanessa. Okay, boys, now that breakfast is over, come over here so we can talk about today's challenge. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> so thank you, Christian, for the breakfast. You're it was welcome. really good. I hope you guys had some food and got something in you for today because we got some fun stuff that we're going to be doing. Right. Today, the team group date challenge is we're actually going to have a pool party. I guess. Yeah. Good looks. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> so I think a pool party is perfect for today because I feel like yesterday everyone was a little bit nervous. Hopefully, this is a more relaxing thing and all the nerves will calm down. Yeah, and hopefully, I get to talk to more people, like chilling at the pool and stuff. So I think it, that'll be fun. Along with the pool party, there is going to be a challenge to get the MVP win. So that challenge is actually a compatibility test. You made a compatibility test a while back and I we did. are going to make the guys take it. Well, I created it a while ago for a fun live stream that we were doing with our fans and 2,000 people took my compatibility test and no one got 100% on it. Wow. We have to get 100%? You don't no, no. let me. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, no. She's <laughs> always about that. I've never I've never got yeah, I never, 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 so I hope you guys are ready for a pool day. Hope you brought your swim trunks and stuff, and let's get to it. Cool. Let's do some push-ups. That's actually so funny. Yeah, yeah, let's do some push-ups. Yeah, let's do it. Stop, Stop, baby. Come on. Come on. Oh, you gotta want to do something. Oh, 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 I don't know who said it, a push-up contest. I could go all day. You guys got nothing on me. I am so stoked for this pool party. I've been dying to jump in the pool. It is sweltering out here. Honestly, Vanessa looks like 10 times more gorgeous than I think she did yesterday. Can I call you Can I call you Ariel from now on? Sure, do I look like Ariel? No, it's because we mermaid for each other. 
Okay, on that note, I'm gonna go as well. <laughs> I'm ready to have fun. I like going to the pool and eventually I'll take my shirt off, but I'm not the type to be like shirtless all the time or like wearing tape tops. I'm like conservative, kind of. So we're all just kind of chilling with our feet in the hot tub and then Matt comes up to me and pulls me aside and he's very sweet and stuff, but I don't know, it was just kind of like awkward. And then I was left there alone. So being in the bottom three, I pulled Vanessa aside today and just kind of got to sit down and talk with her about it. It's going really good, a little awkward, but I think it's going great. We have a lot in common so far, so hopefully she sees that. I'm seeing it. Honestly, I think Matt is actually gonna last a lot longer than uh, most of us think here. Maybe ask her about animals. Animals? Oh, all right, all we right. talked about cats yesterday. You know that the guys are all asking me for answers? No way. Yeah, she Compatible. makes it very tricky. Ooh, my strategy. Like trick answers. You really anything, have anything that I enjoy, I'm gonna put down, and if it doesn't work out, then it'll show that we're not compatible. You know. I talked to Vanessa a little bit yesterday, so I think that I definitely will get some of these questions right. I'm kind of excited to see uh, how much we we match with each other. It's Friday night. Where would you take me on a date? Personally, I wouldn't go out dancing, but I have talked to her, so I know that she likes dancing. Um, so it's definitely that one. How was the test? What are you Wait, I'm not, I can't ask in front of him, but. Wait, ask me. Brandon is done with the compatibility test and he's like freaking out. He's asking me all these questions and here's the thing, Brandon comes in super confident. He came in confident yesterday and today and I, this is the first time I'm seeing him like worry. Um, I'm sad. What do you do to cheer me up? Hug me and be there for me. Say everything will be okay and then hit the whoa, no chance. Send me good memes, surprise me by bringing me my favorite candy. Probably send me good memes. I think making a girl laugh is really important, especially when she's feeling sad. Even when she's not, I think making a girl laugh is like one of the most important qualities you can have in being in a relationship. It's movie night. What movie? Star Wars, obviously. Uh, I hand you the Oscorp. What do you play? Bugs Bunny. No. Bad Bunny. She likes to dance, so maybe Bad Bunny. So the guys are taking my compatibility test and they're coming out like stressed out. They're like going, oh man, and oh, I don't know. I don't even remember the questions I put on it. I don't even remember the answers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was that quiz. Yeah. Um, oh my God, well, here's everyone's the traumatized. I didn't know they were gonna know, take yeah. my quiz. I'd show you guys, I would have changed it for you guys. Oh my god. His uh, eyes, you see yeah. when he came Are in, he's okay, like, I mean, I think I crushed it, but like, oh, okay. just like okay. mentally prepare, like it's a lot. So Cecil finally is talking to me today. We're just casually talking and I'm really enjoying this. I, I'm i really surprised that Cecil has stepped up his game. Yeah, it's like, uh, so I think that's the husky side, that's the corgi side. <laughs> just play in half, there's a line. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We were just talking about animals, and she's talking about how she has a dog. I said, oh, I have a dog. She's like, oh, I want to see some pictures. So I was like, oh, yeah, sure. So got my phone. Oh, his dog is so cute. I love husky mixes. Next question. You make me mad. How do I fix it? First off, I'm never going to make you mad. Don't even play. But on the off chance that that does happen, leave me alone. Horrible option. Agree to disagree. Also atrocious. Apologize and empathize. Maybe. And you get mad too. Oh man. I'm a little volatile when it gets to that high stake level, but I think apologize and empathize is definitely the move. You want to be welcoming and you want to understand their opinion, so it's definitely something to take into consideration. It's a cold day and I'm craving Starbucks. What do you get me? Everyone kept talking about this question. There's a super extra one that I want to choose just because it's so extra, but I feel like she's trying to trick me because that's the only one that's like that. But she may be thinking I'm thinking that and choose the answer, but there's two mochas. So I'm going to go with the first mocha. <laughs> We run into my ex-boyfriend in public. What do you do? Ignore him. Throw some hands, run away, be polite. We're gonna go with be polite. Good luck on that test, man. Uh, so that's that pretty bad? Dude, that, that took bad? you a I minute. I mean, it's not bad, but it's kind of... Yeah, it was taking forever. I was expecting, like, out and back, but... Uh, no, they, it's tough. 
I'm worried. Yeah, I'm it's so worried. Tough. Hello, boys. I called for a pool day, and no one's getting in the pool. So am I gonna have to like step up to the plate and get in the pool? Probably. <laughs> Oh, when I said it's a tricky test, like you have to like be paying attention. Because I was answering it, like I was honestly answering it how I would answer it, but then I had to think about her. Yeah. And I kind of did that on like halfway through, if that makes sense. Uh huh. Yeah. So everyone else is in the pool, and Vanessa hadn't gotten in yet. So I pulled her aside for a second and gave her a little chat. And honestly, I was just trying to feel the vibe, gauge the situation a little bit, see if she was actually in a mirror or not. Do you live with your family still? I do. Cool, I do too. Parents like me. I don't know about kids my age, but I'm all about the parents, right? <laughs> Parents is where I get that yeah. in. Win the you know, parents. When the parents. After our little one-on-one, -on -one, I I'm feeling a little bit. I'm a little more confident. Oh, look who it is, Christian. So we decided to play Marco Polo in the pool, and what a disaster. All right, we ready? Do I just start? All right, Marco. <laughs> Marco. Guys, look out. Oh, wait, no, you have sunglasses on. Bro, I'm so stop pushing me, dude. Hold on. You didn't get me. Come on, open your eyes. And it is a time. So I'm swimming in the deep end and I'm trying not to get tagged, but I'm so short, I can't touch the ground. So I'm basically like doggy paddling and I'm try, like, trying to like, not drown or get my hair wet. So I grabbed onto Alex's arm and like he helped me. And it was like really sweet. Ooh, arm touching. <laughs> Marco? No, I say Polo. Marco. Polo. Oh, oh, Marco. Oh, where is it? Marco. I'm always into like, different things and I just saw a Rubik's Cube and then I used to like try to speed cube and then usually I would do 30 to 40 seconds solve but now I'm kind of rusty so I do like under a minute right now but yeah I just like doing random interesting stuff that most people can't do. Time's almost up. Everyone took the test. It's you're gonna have to make a decision about who's won your heart today, so you can go on your one-on-one -on -one date, which I'm really excited for. I'm going on the one-on-one -on -one date today. There's no, there's no doubt about it. I'm gonna be the one-on-one -on -one date today. I'm excited to know who's the MVP of my compatibility test. Oh, cause that could change the outcome of the one who stole your heart. heart. Or can the MVP be the one who stole my heart? <gasps> I think they can. All right, you guys, so my sister has the test results of my compatibility test. I'm very nervous because a lot of you guys were like, that we so <laughs> So I'm very intrigued. Here are the results. I'll list third, second, and then first, and then the person who got last. I'm out. Okay, third place. I mean, Brandon. Third place is Cecil. Oh, look at you. Um, he got a 30 out of 100. Second place is another 30 out of 100. Alex. Oh, yeah. 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 First place funny, is Christian. Oh. Hey. <laughs> Wait, how much? What? Le twice? Christian won MVP again, which I was very surprised, but also not surprised. I thought I might have won and I was getting a little hype. And then when she said I got second, I was a little bummed. And then of course Christian gets first and gets MVP again. I was kind of bummed, I'm not gonna lie. I wanted to win that one. And then last place <laughs> is Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> I know I got a zero on the uh, on the test. I still think that I'm gonna get the one-on-one -on -one date. Uh, she she definitely sees something different in me. So the MVP for this challenge is kind of obvious. It's Christian again. And since you're the MVP, um, you've won my heart this time. Aww. And not only that, you made us breakfast and everything, so we're gonna go on the one-on-one -on -one date together. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Yes! And I get a date! Okay, I'm excited now. I'm super pumped about this. 
So Christian won MVP, and I also chose him to be the guy who won my heart because he made everyone breakfast. And I don't know, he was just being really sweet today. Like yesterday, I kind of saw him as like a little goofy, but then today, like he was just, I don't know, his goofiness kind of rubbed on me and like, why not? Let's go on a one-on-one -on -one date with him. For the one-on-one -on -one date, I decided to pick a cat cafe for Vanessa and Christian because Vanessa loves cats and I think a cat cafe is a perfect place to bond with someone and get to pet some cats. But I'll be watching the date and see how it's going. A cat cafe? Oh my god. <laughs> This is like the best date ever. It's at a cat cafe. I love cuties. I love cats. Look at those eyes. It's okay. Oh my gosh, there's literally cats everywhere you look. Hello, kitty. Oh, oh you so can relax. Sad. This is literally the best thing ever. Do you have any cats? I had a cat. I had. Oh! oh. <laughs> you Are so you scared. okay? She is glowing right now. There's cats everywhere. She's so cute. She's like, kitty, come here, kitty. I'm like, I got the best date. I'm sure of it. I was so impressed by your French toast <laughs> this morning. Thank you. This place is so cute. I know. This is like the best date ever. <laughs> <laughs> kitty. Are you annoyed with me? I let you down. Do you have a cat? Too? I do. Mm -hmm. His name is Corky. I'm like a bit more nervous one-on-one -on -one than in a crowd of people. So, you know, we'll see how it goes, but I'm feeling good and I'm really happy that I get to spend some one-on-one -on -one time with her. And it's going amazing. Look, Nessa's so happy. He looks happy too. Who would have known? What do you guys think about the date situation that's going on? It's bullshit. Right? <laughs> Yeah, I don't think he's confident about it. No. Why? It's like, because he's like, oh, like no one's gonna like. It's just gonna be me and Vanessa. Like he's like, my personality is so different when I'm around a lot of people. He's like, when it's just us one on one, it's so. Without Brandon, he's so bad at being social with a girl. Then like, why is he on a date show? Like, yeah, real talk. Cause like that's what we're all after. Brandon, how do you uh, feel about the quiz after the quiz thing? <laughs> <laughs> don't even ask him, bro. Don't now, because I'm, like, right? I'm, like, hey, so I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, Brandon's up there. He's He's gonna be, he's number two, something like that, you know? I was like, he's, he's right up there. And no like, shot. Like, uh, no <laughs> shot. What's it like being like an influencer when you like privacy? Like, how do you separate the two? Um, I don't know, it's really hard to, you know, keep it private and you have to just mm -hmm. figure out what you want to keep private and keep yeah. public and the things you do want to keep private, you have to work really hard to keep it private. That makes sense. Yeah. My, my brother, um, he has he has kind of the same thing where he has to separate like the private life and the public life. Oh and really? Things like, yeah. Wait, what? What does your brother do? He <laughs> he's in a band. What kind of band? Um, they're called Why Don't We, and they do like pop music and stuff. No way. Wait. No way. Wait, what? No way. Which was your brother? Da Daniel. <laughs> No. I know, Daniel. Are you serious? Yeah. Yeah, that's my that's brother. That's your brother? <laughs> oh my gosh, it makes sense because you guys yep. kind of look similar. Look similar, have the same, same last, last name. name. <laughs> I just found out his brother is Daniel from Why Don't We? And I'm kind of low key freaking out because, like, one, what a small world. I've hung out with him before at like my friend's houses and parties and stuff. Wait, so did you, have you gone to like any parties and stuff with him? Sometimes. I'm wondering if I, we've ever been at the same party before. Maybe. I'm feeling really good right now. Like, we're both laughing, we're having a good time. Like, she's lighting up, she's smiling a lot. We have a lot in common, actually, which is great. How do you think the guys feel about you scoring the highest and, like, winning MVP yesterday and yeah, today? I know. I'm, I'm kind of scared. <laughs> Me too. Just because I, like... <laughs> I mean, it's not my fault. I did good on the compatibility <laughs> test and that we're super compatible. That's just, right. That just happened to have happened. What do you think your sister feels about me so far? Oh, I think do, she do, likes do, it. Yeah, you do? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It was the food. That's what won the It was the food over. one, and she convinced me to make you MVP yesterday. Did she really? Yeah. Yeah, I do like Christian. I think he's... He's up there. He's definitely going to make it far. Well, in my book, 
He got, the way he got to my heart was through his food. <laughs> Yo, so Timmy, how do you feel, dude? You were uh, on the date yesterday, but now you got snubbed. You no, know, the only reason why he's going on a date with her is because he got MVP twice, and she felt bad for him. That's what there's, I think, too. There's no way that she wanted to actually go on a date with him. That's what I think, and too. I'm like, Dude, hopefully I'm not out today. God damn. Yeah, oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of worried. Scared, Cause I got the second lowest score. That looks so bad. Dude. And I got on a date with her, and I got the second lowest. So that looks really <laughs> bad for me. I was talking to Alex yesterday uh -huh. before he left. Uh huh. But he said he said because he knew you that you were like a very um, positive person, mm -hmm. and you like positivity, mm -hmm. and I do too. So I just mm -hmm. what. Like why why so positive and like what do you do to make things more positive? Oh, and stuff like that? that's actually a really good question. I don't know. It kind of can get deep with mm -hmm. it. I'm here to make a connection and potentially find love. So I I want to get a little deeper in this date and really really learn about her and learn like what what makes her tick and what she wants in a relationship and what she wants out of life and stuff like that. Good, good deed. Okay. I like that. Come on. Well, I don't know. I guess I grew up like my I grew up in a religious home. Me too. And oh, you did? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. With like my family and my sister, everyone just taught me to just think more positively mm -hmm. rather than negatively. This day is going so well right now. We're playing with kitties and cuddling with them and we're just talking about life. It's not even about like things I like, it's just about like deep stuff, you know? Like family, our, how we grew up, and we're really bonding. Grew up religiously, mm -hmm. is that still yeah. something? Yeah, yeah, it's still something. Mm -hmm. it, 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 it's not as much as it used to be, but it, it still is. Like um, my dad was like a pastor and stuff when I grew no up. No way. Yeah. My dad was a pastor too. Really? My yep. dad was a youth pastor. Really? Not an, my, like, you know, my dad like, was like the, he started a church where really? I grew up. So you're a PK. I am a PK. I'm a PK and too. He, yep. How was PK. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this date is going way better than I thought it would. It's kind of getting deep. Like they're talking about our past and how we were like, you know, PK kids and stuff, and, which Ness and I don't really ever talk about. He's one too. You know, sometimes like they say opposites attract, but also it's cool that they both have that in common, especially with their childhood. Well, okay, maybe we should probably go back to see yeah, to okay. the guys and go back, back to the to, house. Back to the guys. <laughs> I'm scared. Don't be scared. Okay, I'm I got done. your bag. It's fine. It's yeah, fine. I gotta have a good date with you. So yeah. that's, that's not something to be too scared of. Yeah, yeah. We're good. Go. We're good here. <laughs> I really enjoyed this date. We had so much in common, and he's really sweet, comes from a sweet family. I'm really impressed with Christian. I am too, honestly. Mm -hmm. Like, you guys had a lot in common, and he's very family-oriented, which sticks out a lot. I love that he's family-oriented, because we're family-oriented. Oh. I'm gonna be honest, I'm kind of falling for her right now. Christian keeps winning these MVPs and now he went on a date and comes back holding hands with Vanessa. How are y'all doing? Pretty good on yourself. <laughs> Tension's palpable right now. So how was it? Good, good. Nice. Where'd you guys go? Yeah. We went to a cat cafe. Oh, oh, really? As I'm walking in and I'm holding Christian's hands, I see the guys' faces and the looks on their faces, and they're kind of like this. And Christian's also sweet for holding my hand. <laughs> so. Oh, yeah, what did you get? Iced oh. coffee. I asked for a mocha. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I wonder what. <laughs> <laughs> So you wanted the ice smoker? Oh. Yeah, I just wanted a mocha. Oh. Okay. So, Look at their seat, oh, bro. <gasps> no. Oh okay. my god. <laughs> yeah. there. Tim, what's up, bro? And now Tim with the coffee, after them holding hands, this is literally getting ridiculous. We had this idea together about getting coffee for Vanessa and you just went behind my back and used it. 
You know I wanted to do that, right? I was yeah. gonna order that, and then you sort of yeah. ordered right yeah, before. Yeah, you were you were too late. <laughs> you were too late, bro. But we bro. talked about it. I thought, you know. No. <laughs> what are you guys looking at? <laughs> no, it's. I mean, it's cool, I guess. Uh, yeah, I told Cecil to do that. I told him that if he wants to get a chance with Vanessa, he needs to say something to someone who's in his way, and Tim's in his way. I didn't expect him to call me out like that, especially in front of all the guys. Me and Cecil are cool, but at the end of the day, it's a competition. Every man for himself. We just won't it's discuss anything. It's a competition anything. at the end of the day, bro. Yeah, well, like, yeah, it on. may have seemed like I was calling you out in front of everyone, but I had to make a point. There's Don't. a competition at the end of the day? There's there's something. No, no. Apparently French not friendship, <laughs> but you know. <laughs> Cecil stepping up right now? Like I I just got back to the house. I had a great time, but now like stuff's going down. Hi guys, how are you feeling? Not yeah. too shabby. Yeah? Alright, well, you guys got 30 minutes before elimination, so you guys can get ready, relax, do whatever, and we'll see you guys in about 30 minutes. Great. Yeah. See you it's time for the hardest part of the day, the elimination process, and who we're going to eliminate. Today we're going to only eliminate one guy. It was super fun hanging out with all the guys today, and I'm struggling with who I need to put in the bottom three, but I feel like I have an idea. Sometimes things are awkward with certain people. Some people didn't do well on my compatibility test. Yikes. So... We'll see. Hello, everyone. Now it's time for the elimination process. It is so unfortunate to see one of you guys go tonight. We are very sad. This is very hard for us. Yeah, but I, before we do the elimination process, I just want to thank all of you for taking time. After yesterday, I'm still freaking out standing here. It's been super fun so far, so thank you, you guys. Also, Christian, you are safe from elimination because you got MVP and you stole my heart. So, yeah, you're good. <laughs> so now it's time to pick the bottom three oh. for the chopping block. This was, guys, this was really hard to come to, so to come to this decision. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's a dating show. We have to eliminate someone, so. So the first guy in the bottom three is Zach. Oh. My heart is pounding out of my chest, but real talk, I'm kind of not surprised. The second guy is Matt. Again? Really? And then the third guy is Brandon. That's like my biggest competition right there, I feel. My heart just dropped. I, I really don't, I didn't think this would happen. Um, I'm honestly scared for myself right now. It makes me sad to put him down there, but I think an obvious one we have to put down there is Brandon because he got zero on my compatibility test. Yeah. He didn't even get one answer right. I mean, I know it was hard, but like, did he even try? It's been really nice getting to know all of you guys. It was a really hard decision to come to, so. The first person who is safe is Zach. And unfortunately, the person who is not a match for me and is going home is Matt. Oh. Oh. Thank you. You were very sweet and you're very fun to hang out with. Me too. I just wasn't really feeling it, so. Thank you. Thanks for being hey here. I'm really sad to see Matt go because he's really, really sweet, but. I just wasn't feeling a connection there. I really see us being friends. It's her preference, her personality. I guess we just didn't mesh well together, but whoever wins this competition is going to be a really lucky guy, and I hope she finds what she's looking for. So, Brandon, that means you are safe. You can go back up with the guys. I'm safe. They kept me in it. I knew it would happen. Uh, even though I got a zero, it doesn't mean anything because Brandon's still here. All right, you guys, today was super fun, but hope you guys get lots of rest tonight. You're gonna need it because tomorrow is a busy day. Make sure you wear something you can be active in. Oh! 
All right, well, we'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye. I'm really excited for tomorrow. I'm pretty confident I could run faster than all these guys, jump faster. I'm pretty athletic. We said goodbye to all the guys and Brandon pulled me up to the roof to talk to me. What? About what? This stuff? Like what? Give me the tea, I didn't know this. How was your, your kitten experience today? How did, you, how did you not bring me to the place with cats? You like cats? I have four. You have four I have four, four at cats? home and right now I have three. How are you feeling about Brandon then? I don't know, I feel like no one likes Brandon, but I kinda, I kinda dig him. I think he's really sweet. Every time he's talked to me, he's really sweet and he'll like touch my leg and like, I don't know. I'm getting mesmerized by him. What's your actual favorite dessert? My actual like favorite, favorite dessert? dessert yeah. Well, I love Krispy Kreme donuts. Okay. See, that's lit because <laughs> because I saw that and I was gonna put it because I f***ing like love those. What's your favorite flavor? I only go when I get the hot just dozen glaze. That's same. it. Just the same. The original is yes, so good. I actually have a video of me eating half the box in 30 seconds. <laughs> What were you expecting me to say? I'm not getting the answers that I want What today. did you want to hear, Ronnie? No, I want to hear no. Dude, what is with Brandon? I don't know if he woke up on the wrong side of the bed or something this morning, but he's just going after all the boys, and I feel kind of protective of them at this point. That's an unfair competition right there. But as soon as Friday comes out, because I'm ready. I want you guys to help me find my perfect match, so comment down below who you think is best for me. If you like this episode, give it a thumbs up. And don't miss an episode, so click the bell notification to get notified when there is a new episode. Also, subscribe to Awesomeness TV, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye! Bye. Hey guys, I'm Veronica. I'm Vanessa. This is a dating show where I help find my sister her perfect match. Before you watch this episode, make sure to watch the previous episodes if you haven't seen them yet. We are down to the final six guys. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good about my decisions so far. It's really hard for me to eliminate people because everyone has been so nice and super kind. And I'm nervous for today, but I'm also excited to see how the boys react. So I told the boys that for today, they need to be prepared to do something physical. So this is definitely their day. Just woke up in the house, another beautiful day in Los Angeles. I decided to shave this morning. I don't really know why, I'm kind of regretting it. And my contacts got scratched last night, so now I gotta wear these glasses. And don't really like my glasses, so we'll see how that goes. May hopefully Vanessa does though. Me and the guys just kind of like chill around the house before the girls actually get here, uh, after we wake up. You know? okay. Guys, he's doing like, all the MVP. Not, not today, not today. Okay, take, take <laughs> it from me, boys. Who ate all the chocolate cliff bars? I ate the peanut butter um, one, it's not chocolate. Damn, I didn't eat a single pinch of chocolate one. Oh, oh really? So Today I definitely think that I'm gonna cause a little bit of drama. Yo, how much do I have to pay you to chug that whole bottle of maple syrup? <laughs> Actually, <laughs> straight up, that's how much money pay me. That is You'll do good. it? Oh, I'll do it. You'll do it? No, you won't. No, you won't. I'll, I'll try, try it. I'll the entire thing maple syrup. Bro, I'll try it. Straight up. Three? No. You know how dense that's gonna be? Yeah. You're gonna, start, you're gonna start choking on it. I will give Cecil twenty dollars if he chugs. Why is Cecil have to trade between y'all two? No, leave him out of this. What is with Brandon? I don't know if he woke up on the wrong side of the bed or something this morning, but he's just going after all the boys, and I feel kind of protective of them at this point. Five bucks. I'm not gonna do it for but five I'll bucks. I'll only give you five if you can clear up to like the label. I'll give you five, dude. <laughs> oh. What? 10 bucks. Okay. Yeah, I got okay. it. Who else is in on this? Okay. I'm gonna make Kristen eat this entire bottle of syrup, and I could care less if he feels like crap today because that's what I want to happen. All right. Just a little taste. Oh. <laughs> You're actually. No, 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 look this way, Poppy. Come on. <laughs> I'm, I'm well, doing it over his sink. It. You challenge me, I'm gonna do it. Like, let's do it. If you let's stop, do it. it's done. You can only stop when you get to like the five and then the 10 and whatever, okay? I like Brandon's, I don't know if it was his intent, but you know, weaken the competition, you know, make them do challenges to make them not feel good later on in the day. I really like that, you know, so I kind of like went along with that. This benefits me, so you know, might as well encourage it. God, I can't wait for that. I hope you go outside. <laughs> no, you are gonna hate yourself. I legitimately don't like syrup, so I might throw up right now. <laughs> you but I'm crazy. <laughs> I can't wait. Oh, oh my god. Oh. Oh.
Let's go, baby. Look at the determination. Oh my god. Let's go, keep going, baby. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh no. This is disgusting. Oh my wow. god. Wow. That's dense. dense. That's dense and, a dense and like thick, dude. That's not bad. Hang up. A little bit. Where can we wrestle? Are you gonna actually do oh, it? Us. Are you gonna actually do it or are you gonna make other people do it? No, I'll wrestle. Yeah, right? I'll wrestle. Okay. Alex recently has been getting like a little bit picky with me. He kind of like says a lot more stuff uh, than at first and I'm honestly kind of getting annoyed at this point. I would have actually wrestled him and put him on the ground if he would have kept doing what he was doing. Yeah, when you get a bunch of guys living in a house together, we're probably gonna do some stupid stuff. Good morning, Starshine. Uh, yeah, honestly, I needed to get my beauty sleep. These boys are real lookers out here and I gotta keep up. Oh, I don't swear at all. I had to get another couple hours. Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> uh, Brandon over here, he's Mr. Instigator. He uh, had me chug some syrup earlier. Yeah, it's like it's, it's, I only got like a quarter way into the bottle. Oh my god, dude. I'm glad I missed the hazing. I didn't realize we were in a frat. It's ridiculous. Good morning, boys. Good morning. Hey. Good morning. Why don't you guys take a seat over here so we can talk about the challenge for today. All right. So for today's challenge, I told you all to get some rest yesterday. So I hope you guys got a lot of rest. We are going to be doing something super fun today. We are going to be doing volleyball. Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. Wait, what? Why are we playing volleyball? That's like my least favorite sport because it hurts my arm. Exactly. No. The reason why I picked it is because I know you don't like it and the challenge is to see which guy notices that you're not having a good time. And I got a little surprise there when we get at the court. So I thought it'd be a great idea to bring my best friend, Aaron Burris, to meet the guys because I want to see the dynamic between them two versus how they react with me and plus it's another judge. So Aaron's always been good at giving me advice about boys. Oh. Let's get Are going. Are you guys playing or no? <laughs> well, someone might be playing. Oh. Um, what? <laughs> 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 Today, we're playing volleyball. Lucky for me, no stranger to the sand. I'm pretty much a pro at spike ball, so hopefully it translates over. I played volleyball like every church event. I played volleyball co-ed in college. Like, I'm ready for some volleyball. Bump, set, spike, let's go. So this is Aaron. He's gonna help me see little things that a girl doesn't see when it comes to guys mm -hmm. and like bros. I have a great judge of character when it comes to guys, but honestly, I'm pretty sure Alex is gonna win. You mean your brother? Yeah, he, he's my not, brother. He's not in the show anymore. He was here. We kicked him off the first day. See the guys at the volleyball court, and Aaron is walking with us. I don't think they know what's happening. <laughs> hey guys! Hello! Come here! Come here. Come here. Come here. Hello. Hello! Come here! Huddle around! So, I said I had a surprise for you guys at the volleyball court. I want to introduce you guys to my best friend, Aaron. What's up? Hey, hey. guys. And if you're going to be dating my sister, you got to make sure you're friends with our friend group, and he's part of our friend group. Yeah, you're like basically dating me too. Because <laughs> I'm there all the time, so. Nice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. Okay. So let's play volleyball, yeah? So Aaron's going to start you off with some drills. Yeah, got to see what you guys are capable of here. Yeah, as soon as Aaron walked up, we all knew that he was related to Alex Wasabi somehow. First I was like, wait, who's that guy walking with the twins? Thought it was more competition, but looks like we're safe. All right, boys, first up, a little bit of passing drills. Uh, you ready? Yes, sir. Okay, all right, ready? Boom. Okay. Oh. Ooh, these guys are pretty good. We're gonna have them run some drills. We're gonna get to know these guys, we're gonna know them to their core and find out if they're really a good match for your sister. All right, now that we got the passing out of the way, we're gonna be doing a little bit of blocking drill. Come over here, just jump, over, jump, and continue that. Okay, go, boom. There we go, oh, he's got hops. Okay, let's move in, next one, next one. I got you, I got you. 
Oh, the assist! Yeah. The assist! Heck, bro. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, wow. Oh, jeez. That a power! Of course, Christian knows how to play volleyball. The only one. Classic. Home <laughs> fence. <laughs> <laughs> I am really bad at volleyball. All right, guys, that was uh, that was terrible. Thank you. Horrible. I'm joking. You guys did a good me. job. Hey. Let's go ahead and take a break, get some water, and then the real fun will begin. All right, sounds good. So Aaron is walking through drills with the boys. They're all keeping up. Aaron's a good sport. He's very nice to them, so he's definitely making them feel a little bit more comfortable. What do you guys think of Nessa so far? Oh, you guys got quiet quick. I really like her. I think she's I mean, really sweet. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Like, all right. Well, okay, one word, favorite thing about her, go. From you, all the way over. Dimples. Dimples? Definitely smile. Okay. Eyes. Freckles. For positivity. Oh, That's wow. cute. Okay. We got oh, some good guys. Damn. All right. Oh, all right. Oh, 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 I like I, it. Okay. All right. For positivity. Know. I really like that about her. All right. So now it's time to divide into teams. Aaron, you're going to pick the teams. Mm-hmm. First pick, Mr. Alex. Cool. Wow. I don't want to be he's last. Tall. Yeah, right. <laughs> it is because he's tall. Which nope, team is he on? Yeah, he's on my team. team. Yeah. Okay. He's on my team. Yeah, I'm super excited to be on Aaron's team. The drills were really, really funny and it was a good way to get to know him. And you can have Brandon. <laughs> then we will take Christian. Oh, my God. Okay. All right. <laughs> and then you can have Cecil. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay, right. Cecil's over here. Yeah. You don't want to play with them. And them's then, them's okay. Right. So, wow. <laughs> okay, so you're with them. All right. Mr. Tim, you're with us. I'm mad that I'm pick last. How can you pick me last? This is. <laughs> so, yeah, I felt like it was kind of rigged almost. All the tall people, plus Christian, who knows how to play volleyball, was on one side, and the rest of us were on the other side. The team name? Yeah, the kitty cats. Oh, the kitty cats. All right. On three, kitty cats. Ready? One, two, three. Kitty, kitty cats. cats! Meow! Oh my god, I did it too! <laughs> I did it too! <laughs> What's your favorite animal? Hedgehog. It's Ronnie's hedgehog. Yeah, so we came up with our team name. I asked Veronica what her favorite animal was. She told us it was a hedgehog. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Hedgehog! This is kind of a stacked team. So Ronnie had the greatest idea of doing shirts versus skins. And I feel like everyone's getting out of their comfort zone today because some of the boys are uncomfortable with their shirts off. Some of them are mad they don't have their shirts off. It's kind of funny. <laughs> you guys ready? Vanessa's hair is down and she's playing volleyball. So she's definitely going to need something. So I think I'm going to do something to help her out. Baller move. Respect. All right, Brandon coming in clutch with the hair tie. Perfect, just like that. And then you're going to pop this up. So for the good of the team, okay. I decided okay. to teach Vanessa a little bit about volleyball. Okay. Yeah, okay, ready? All right, boys, let's get it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay, you serve, you right, serve, right. you serve. Right here, baby. I'm ready for you. Oh my, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Get him, get him out. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. Freak it out. No. Let's go, baby. Show us what you're made of. Oh. Okay, that was it. Was it? Woo! That was so cool. Hey! Right. Team! My oh bad. My bad. Right good, dude. Yeah! Aaron! In my defense! Wait, are we winning? I don't winning? have a defense. You guys are winning. Woo! Oh, oh, no, oh, no. Oh, no. Nice. Oh, Woo! Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Go, Tim! Right now, I'm doing great. You know, I'm hitting the serves in like perfectly. They can't even return it. Oh! Oh! Oh, wait, we're waiting! Hey! Oh, no! Go, do it, go, do it! Well done, well done. Okay, so the kitty cats are winning. Good job. Okay. Go like this? No. Hey! Yay! Yeah, it went over the net! <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. I panicked! All right. We're back in the game. We're finally gelling as a team. It's going well for us right now. I think we can pull the win. Last serve. Come on, Aaron! We'll see it. Okay, okay. Oh. Get back! All of a sudden, Team Hedgehog, out of nowhere, last serve. 
Game over. Team Hedgehog, baby! Hedgehog, hey, 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 hey. Man, we are so close to winning, and Christian took a little bit of the easy way out, tossed the ball Vanessa's way. They won, so I made us lose. Good job, good job. Good job Boom, boom. Good, work, good, good job. stuff, good well stuff. Good job. Good job. Okay. I talked to her after the game, gave her some water, and yeah, it was like a good vibe today. Like, what did you observe like on Nessa's team? Zach was a really good team, and he was with you. Like he took care of you, so that was really nice of him. To be honest, Brandon wasn't really paying attention to the game. But when it came to trash talking, he did a lot of that. I think that's why we won. You guys were kind of distracted. So Nessa, I think we've got some choices to make. So let's get back to the house. My team won, and I won without my glasses on. I still can't really see. I'm really happy we won. I'm glad I got to be picked first by Aaron. That felt really good. And now we're about to find out who is MVP and who stole Vanessa's heart. As you know, I've been watching the one-on-one -on -one dates from like behind the scenes. Uh -huh. But instead, for today, for the one-on-one -on -one date, it's going to be a double date, and me and you are going to be joining Nessa and the one who wins her heart. <laughs> All right. All right. How was that? Did you enjoy it? Yeah. I think my chances are pretty good for MVP. We are now going to announce the MVP and the person who stole my heart. I'm really scared that Brandon stole Vanessa's heart today. So the MVP is Zach. Oh, um, just because you were teaching me how to do volleyball and stuff, and you were very sweet. I am really disappointed. I. I thought I was going to win MVP. So you're safe from elimination today. All right. <laughs> I think he feels really good about being MVP because coming from the bottom three to MVP, I think it's a good feeling. The person who stole my heart was Brandon. <laughs> Came in clutch with the, the hairband. Brandon gives her a headband and gets a date for the day. Is that all I have to do? OK. I low-key thought I would have gotten in today, I don't know why. One MVP, but no date. All right, well why don't you two go get ready for the date? Now Brandon's going off on the one-on-one, -on -one, and they're gonna get to know each other more, and it makes me a little nervous. Hey everybody. Enjoy, my friend. Vanessa just picked me to go on the double date. Let's go. He just really went out of his way to make me feel comfortable and not super insecure, and it was just super, fun and flirty. That was the challenge of the day, was to help Nessa have more fun, even though this was a miserable thing for her. But I wasn't expecting it to be Brandon to be the one to do that. And we're having sushi. Yeah. So sugar and fish is really good. I've never and been. It's one of <gasps> our favorite. I love it. If you're <laughs> going like sushi, it. you'll love it. <laughs> I hate raw fish. <laughs> <laughs> so this is gonna be interesting. Oh man. I think you'll like it. No, you'll yeah. like it. Whatever you don't eat, I'll eat. I got you. All right, we're gonna grab this sushi, so we'll be right back. Okay. So the twins and Aaron are going crazy over this sushi that they said is like the best sushi in LA. Um, I'm not really too happy about it. It's all raw fish and I don't eat raw fish ever. Since this is like the one-on-one -on -one before elimination or whatever, what do you wanna know more like, about me? What kind of music do you like? Um, I love like rap music, like that's what I'm listening to all the time, but like I listen to Screamo uh, when I'm working out. On my quiz! Yes. Anything but Screamo! Yes. So now when we're driving somewhere, I'm gonna play Screamo as loud no. as I can. And you're gonna sit there and you're gonna be like, wow, I hate being here. <laughs> oh my gosh, you have dimples too. Or are you doing it? Yeah, it's right there. Yeah. Christian has two. <laughs> Figures. Why do you think you're ready for a relationship? Because I've started a new life. Like, I'm out here, um, not a single person in this city knows me, and I, I love it. Like, I love being here. I've, I've started my new life, and mm -hmm. I'm looking for someone to make it more enjoyable. Okay. That's cool. Dog cafe or an owl cafe? No. What's next? You know? I think it's just a restaurant. 
Dude, watch them pick their favorite restaurant and Brennan walks in and he's like, dude, I hate this type of food. And everyone... Dude, he'll be like, bro, this place sucks. <laughs> <laughs> like, his face is like, this place sucks, what the hell? <laughs> dude, what the hell is this shit? Too funny. I'm so hungry. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna prepare this for you. It's good. Oh, it's good, it's good. Yeah, this is so good. Mm. Uh, just try it, just try it, just try it. You can eat like yeah, yeah, mix it around. Get some of the, the ponzu sauce on it. Okay, ready? Oh wait, I'm ready. It's fine, it's fine. It's not gonna taste fishy. No pressure. No? Very no. cool. No! Oh you don't like it? The salmon? Oh I feel like that's the one everyone likes. I will say I'm very disappointed Brandon didn't like the sushi because it is some of the best sushi and... No. But it's okay, sushi's not for everyone. I That doesn't bother me. Mm. 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 It's okay if you don't like it. You don't have to keep eating it. No. I actually really like that one. This is a pretty nice double date if I do say so myself. I think the date's going well so far. I mean, I think Brandon is just such a cool, chill guy. He gets along with everyone, very outgoing. I love this date so far. I will say, talking to Brandon, it feels very casual. Yes. Like, when talking to some of the other guys, it feels like we're still getting to know them. But Brandon was just like, talking like as if we've known him for a while. Ohana means family. I'm done. That's family so good. Family means no one gets left behind. My sushi. I <laughs> oh my. I can't do impressions. Right. Okay, Minnie Mouse. Minnie Mouse. No, no, now I'm on the spot. If you do Mine's really Mouse. bad. No, do it. It's okay. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Pluto. <laughs> that was good. That's really good. That was good. Yeah. It literally does not sound like oh Minnie Mouse. She's really into him. No! He's, I'm sorry. Like, he won me over a little bit, but I just, I can see what he's doing, and it's working. <laughs> are you guys done eating? Yeah, I think so. Do you guys want to go play some games? Yeah. Vanessa and me definitely are much closer than anyone else. Obviously, I don't know what she's doing on her dates with the other people, but from what I can see, I definitely stand out from the crowd, and I think everyone else can see that, too, with her and me. <laughs> Yo, it's kind of warm if one of y'all wants to come in. Cecil? Yes, yeah, Cecil, let's go. I wanted to do something, I was just bored. I thought maybe the pool would be fun. Um, the hot tub looked like it was heated up today, and so I just wanted the guys to kick it in the pool. Currently, I'm employed, you know? I got I got responsibilities to take care of. I got a job, so I'm down there hustling, I'm putting in work, and while you know, some people can have fun and play games, I, I really gotta put my nose to the grindstone. Or it's never one more. No, I'm gonna get it this one. one. Watch. Just say another one. This is so corner to corner. Please. Thanks. We're all having a good time. We just jumped in the pool. We're throwing around this volleyball. It's great. Oh, dude. All right, let's see your... Wait, where the heck is Timothy right now? I'm watching the anime movie Vanessa recommended me. Sometimes I like just to unwind and just be alone. Okay. Oh, <laughs> I love. Hi. Okay. <laughs> We should do a competition, you two versus us two, since this I is a double practice. date. Yes, that'd be dope. Like, like whatever we accumulate together versus... Okay, yes. Go. Okay, ready? One, <laughs> two, two, three. Here go. No! I'm, like, really bad at this. One. Oh. So we see all these games after we eat, and uh, we definitely decided to go right to the basketball. Me and Aaron looked at it as soon as we walked up there. Uh, and I guess now my competitive side is going to come out. I think okay. we did good. We did good, no? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 Right, ready? Are you ready? I'm nervous. Go. Oh my gosh. Oh. Aaron and Ronnie are cheaters. They did underhand in basketball. Oh we made it fair by you doing it. It's done. Timer's done. Yeah. Who is cheating? We did it like we basketball, both did like guys. Basketball. So we it's, it's only one game. There's still more games to try and beat us at. You're right. Five. <laughs> They're not five. going to, but they can try. I got this double date with not only her sister, but her sister's best friend, and they all hang out all the time. So this is honestly something, it's something great. Okay, we can only do some. When I first met Aaron back at the volleyball court, I didn't really know too much about him, obviously. Um, and uh, now that I'm kind of talking to him and doing this double date, he's actually really cool, and I, I definitely would hang out with the guy again. Oh, yeah, like, he doesn't even go to the end. Oh! 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 Oh!
Well, he's been very touchy from the beginning, which I'm a sucker for that. I don't know what it is. I just love that type of thing. It's just like a sign for me to show like, okay, this guy actually is into me and is not afraid to be flirty and out there. And I love that. So I need to know what your intentions are with Miss Nessa Merrill. I won't know what my intentions are until she does. Because I don't know what her intentions are. If you could have it your way, have everything play out exactly how you want, oh, how would you want I it to go? I talk to her constantly after this. Constantly. It's kind of sweet. Yeah? Thank you. He's okay. All right. Okay. Sorry. This is so this bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so honestly, what do you think about Brandon? I know you told me I wasn't supposed to like him, but he's a nice guy. Aaron. I'm sorry. Really? What, what, what were you expecting me to say? I'm not getting the answers that I want What today. do you want to hear, Ronnie? He, no, no, I want to hear no. He, no. <laughs> I just don't know. I mean, they're really hitting it off and it's just kind of worrying me because I know she like really loves like the bad guy, I mean, like bad boy have, vibes. And they've been doing a, a lot of the, know, a lot the lingering. Of touching. And like just the lingering. They were doing a lot of this earlier. Yeah. It was a little, uh... I mean, she seems happy. She seems really happy, to be honest. Like, I really like Alex. I think I her and too. Alex would vibe. Okay, I'll go talk to Alex when we get back to the house. Will that make you happy? Yes. Okay. okay let's go. Okay. Um, you're really fast. There's like a specific thing. Hey, guys. What's up, guys? Hello. 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 <laughs> they came back from the date, and it probably went well because they're kind of touching each other and vibing with each other. Same poison. I, it's not a joke. Yeah, like, Where'd you guys I go? felt so good before I left here and then we went and ate the sushi and I feel terrible. Really? <laughs> I feel so bad. He can speed eat yogurt and he can't eat freaking sushi. I think he's straight up faking it. Oh yeah, we were on here. Right, okay. guys, I'm gonna give you guys 15 more minutes to talk and then we're gonna move into elimination. That quick? Yeah. 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 yeah, pretty much. This eliminations is gonna be really difficult for me. All right, so it's been a fun day with you guys, but unfortunately it is time to eliminate one of you. Zach, you are safe because you won MVP. And Brandon, you're safe as well because of the one-on-one -on -one date. So now I'm going to list the bottom three. And the first guy in the bottom three is Alex. I'm tensing up a little bit, but I just don't think I'm gonna be sent home tonight. We didn't really talk much, although I love those glasses on him. Next guy in the bottom three is Cecil. When he found out I was on the team with him, he was like, what, no, now we're really gonna lose. <sighs> wow, bottom three. And third guy in the bottom three is Christian. I'm absolutely terrible. I don't even know what I did. Like, what put me in the bottom three? He kept aiming the ball at me, and I was kind of scared. I'm also very dramatic. <laughs> but bottom three. I feel like I saw it coming, and I didn't see Christian coming. So unfortunately, one of you guys has to go home. The first person who is safe is Alex safe. It feels really good to live another day. I know we connected a lot yesterday, and I know that we have something, and I really don't think I should be sent off right now. Unfortunately, the person who is not a match for me is Cecil. Sorry. I'm not surprised at all. Try not to get too emotional about this, but um, definitely tough coming all the way from Tampa, come to LA, and being cut within the first four days. If Vanessa didn't feel like we were supposed to be together, then and that it is what it is. Guess I'll go back to Tampa and finish my research. Christian, you are safe. You can join the guys back up on the stairs. Oh. Thank you. So congratulations, you guys. You guys are in the top five. Yes. Make sure you get a lot of rest tonight because tomorrow is gonna to be full of a lot of speed. Mm. 
And on that note, we will see you guys tomorrow. So I'm downstairs kind of just hanging around and I look out the window and I, I see Alex and Aaron talking about what? But you just gotta be a little more aggressive. All right. You get her attention. All when right. you have her attention, keep it. Keep going, tall person, tall person. I really want you to win. Thanks, bro. I really do. All right, okay. Man. I'm just kind of trying to keep it low key, just trying to do like my thing on the side, get my time with Vanessa, like away from the guys. And that's why like I would really like the one-on-one -on -one date because it'd be just like me and her. You remember what I said? Yeah. yeah. What did you say? No, we were just talking. And I was kind of planning a little surprise for you tomorrow. <gasps> tomorrow? Yeah. I don't know what they were talking about, but me and Alex kind of had a cute moment where he said he has a surprise for me. Today, obviously, it was a fantastic day, but just because I go over and beyond, I'm gonna show her a little something special tonight. Oh my gosh. Did you do that yourself? Yeah. So the strawberries kind of look funky because I can tell Brandon made them, but they taste absolutely delicious. Oh my gosh, you're so sweet. The sun is setting and it's literally just like perfect. It's like a movie. It's funny because like this is the uh, like the fastest like fastest way I've ever met someone. It's kind of funny. Too, like yeah. it's like really fast. I'm actually really nervous because me and Brandon are having like real chemistry. I think. But as soon as Friday comes out, kiss me. <laughs> so Brandon's telling me he wants to kiss me, and I don't know what to do. Like I'm like high key panicking because like. It could and then I don't know if I should or not because the guys and oh my gosh, this is very, this is stressful. When he got out of the cart, I was like, I'm, I'm out, see ya, I'm done. <laughs> no clue. That is like the best gift ever. <gasps> so Brandon just randomly comes into the room and is like being Brandon and then slams the door. Where are you going? Me, where am I going? I'm walking away. Why? I don't know how this long going to do this. Today has been filled with a lot of tea. Comment down below who you think Nessa is going to end up falling in love with now. Also, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to Awesomeness TV. Subscribe to us. Thanks Thank to Aaron there. for being on the show. <laughs> and we'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye. Bye. Hey guys, I'm Veronica. I'm Vanessa. And, and this is a dating show where I help find my sister her perfect match. So we are down to the final five guys who are fighting to win my heart. If you haven't seen the other episodes before this episode, you have to go check it out. All the links will be in the description below. So yesterday I had an amazing day with Brandon. He definitely was the one who won my heart. There's a sound bite of a certain someone saying something to you. Here is a flashback. But as soon as Friday comes out, kiss the <laughs> How do you feel about that, Nessa? <laughs> I don't know. Do you like it? Do you yeah. not like it? I don't know. You, don't look at me like you that. You like that? No, I don't know. I was very confused because, well, the cameras weren't rolling, but sound was still rolling. And if you would have saw my reaction, he literally was like, he said that, and then just walked off. And my face was just like this. I don't know how to react to that. Brandon's a bad boy. I need to talk to some of the other guys, and so I'm excited to see what they say. Especially, I'm excited to see what Alex is gonna do, because he told me he has a surprise for me. Comment down below who you think is going to win Nessa's heart in this episode. And at the end of the episode, edit your comment and say if you were right or wrong. <gasps> oh, that's a good idea. I'm pretty well rested today, so I'm excited. I have Zach as my roommate. This is the best, man. Chillest, coolest dude, man. You know, I hope he doesn't get eliminated, man. You know what happened with um, Vanessa and Brandon yesterday? I just know they were chatting, but... I think he really likes her, because last time he was talking to her up there, too. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You didn't know that either? No. Yeah. I am oblivious, man. I gotta get my finger on the pulse out here. I'm feeling worried. I was in the bottom three last night, and today, I gotta bring my A game. 
five of us left in the house now. Really anybody's game. I can feel the tension, but ready to take on the day. Were you scared <laughs> yesterday when you were called on first? Dude, I was terrified. I mean, yeah, I was feeling a little... A little nervous? Yeah. Probably not as nervous as you when you went down there, though. No, I was still... <laughs> no, you were not. No, you were not. No, no, no. When I got called down, I was freaking it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's up, Timmy? I don't know. I'm scared, man. Yeah. Why? I don't know. Uh -huh. Well, you got MVP. Yeah, I mean, that just saved me, but I still yeah. don't know anything about the girl. Barely talk to her. I'm kidding. <laughs> I mean, like, I've been trying, but there's so many other fools here that it's hard to get a chance. So every day a guy is eliminated, and with the guys who are staying, the tension is rising. And I can just feel it slowly getting more and more intense. Yesterday when I was making the uh, strawberries for uh, Vanessa, uh, Christian kind of came over and saw and got I could tell he got pissed and then Alex saw and Alex told everyone, so they were all a little bit salty about that, but. Breakfast? Uh, I think I'm gonna grab a cup of Joe, actually. Of course, there you go. Yeah. What? What? I want some breakfast, dude. Yeah. Yeah, I do. I'm hungry. Today is a new day. The challenge is very exciting. I can't wait. I think it's right up the guy's alley. I love it. I know you love it. And I there's do? a special twist to it. Good morning. Morning. Yeah, Vanessa was really cute today. I really like her outfit. Her fit was on point. Uh, love the jeans, little leg action, that's cool. So, happy to see you guys this morning. Are you guys doing good? Yeah. Get a lot of rest? No. What happened? It's awesome and turning. Oh. Still waiting on that one-on-one -on -one date. Oh. <laughs> well, I hope you guys are ready for today's challenge. I know this is kind of like a speed dating show, so we had to incorporate some type of speed. So today the challenge is going to be racing, but we're going to be racing go-karts. Yes! Oh, I'm doing That's so bad. So we go go-karting like a lot. All right, why don't you guys go get ready and we'll see you guys there. Yeah. Sounds good. Ladies and gentlemen, start your engine, baby. I blew it. Good morning. How are you? Actually, I'm um, bragging something. You did? I want to give you before we laugh. Okay. You want to see it? Yeah, I All do. Right. I pull Vanessa aside because I want to give her something special. Okay. Yes. So I got you a little something just from what we were talking about uh -huh. at lunch that one day. Uh-huh. Wait, turn around, turn around. Okay. All right, open your eyes. <gasps> From Harry Potter. No but way. it's like sequined, so if you like <gasps> go like this, it says platform nine and three quarters. Oh my gosh. I love it. <laughs> Good. Oh my gosh, thank uh, you. <laughs> Well, there's another one too. It's not as cool as that okay. one, honestly. Oh, well, no, it's gonna be amazing still. This is so cool. I'm gonna put this on my bed. Really? Yeah, it's a it'll match my room. I figured you could put it like in your bed or in your living room or yeah. something. Yeah. And then I got you this too. No way! Yeah. Oh there, was my no, gosh. there was no Hufflepuff stuff. I know we talked about that, but like. <gasps> this is so cute. I just wanted to do something like without the guys there. Oh! <laughs> thank you. Oh! The sweetest thing. Ronnie, where's Ronnie? Yeah. <laughs> I have to show her. Come here, look. <laughs> look at this. Oh, cool. I know it's like sequin. I think she loved it. I don't care if the other guys see what I'm giving her, but I think, I think I've waited long enough. I really want to give this to her, and I think it's my turn. Baller move. Alex is finally doing something. Okay, let's go. All right. <laughs> Let me go put this away. Yo, this place is awesome. I've never been to like an official go-karting place, so this feels sweet. Playing pool, you know, we're deciding on nicknames and I really didn't know what to choose. And Brandon's like, hey, bro, you should be Tokyo Drift. And then like, you know, all the dudes were like laughing. And then I was like, I don't care, you know, Tokyo Drift is cool, like, why not? And, like, I'm Asian, I'm the only Asian guy here, so why not? Yeah, so my nickname is uh, Student Driver. My nickname oh. is Miss Butterworth because I chug maple syrup. <laughs> I chug maple syrup. Yeah, my nickname is 6'5 because I am 6'5. Uh, I guess I'm weak stomach because I got, like, almost poisoned yesterday with sushi. <laughs> So the big twist is all the guys are going to be racing our manager, Paul. But as you guys know, 
That's our dad. Yeah, that's our dad. He's, He's been not. on set all week. We've been calling him Manager Paul. The guys don't know. Because oh. sometimes guys put on this persona when they meet the parents, mm -hmm. but they've already been acting like themselves. And do you know how many guys have told me they wanted to meet our parents? I am That's funny. very nervous about this one oh because I don't know how the guys are going to react. Here we go. So this whole week thus far, I've just been playing the manager. No one's called me dad or daddy or anything like that on set. So everybody, all the guys think I'm their manager. But the truth is, I'm their dad. And today we're gonna reveal it to them. And I've gotten to hear all of the stuff that you've heard on camera, but even off camera and the things that I've noticed and witnessed. So it's gonna be a real shocker. Excited? Oh, yeah. I mean, obviously, you guys are going to be racing, but here's the actual real challenge: is you have to be that guy over there. Who is our dad? Oh. 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 <laughs> no clue. When he got out of the cart, I was like. I'm out, see ya, I'm done. I didn't know Paul was their dad, but it makes sense just how comfortable they are around him. That one came out of left field, a little bit of a surprise. What How's up, it going? Pops? How you doing? Good, good. You guys ready to do some racing? Yes, yeah, I am. Yeah, yeah, ready. How are you guys feeling? Not good. That drift yeah. you just did with the that was crazy. I was expecting a bigger reaction from them, a reaction like, <gasps> what? I think I as know. soon as they heard dad, they got into like, like got in press mode. Mm-hmm, yeah. All right, so the rules are this, is that technically it's a race, but with inside of the track, there's another race. You're racing for time. So whoever can come the closest to my time, good luck. <laughs> so that's a challenge. Fastest lap is the MVP. So the time you have to beat is actually the fastest time of the day, which is 19.294. And I set that lap, Wait, so. Is that was that you out there earlier? Yeah, that was me. You hit those corners so nice. The flattery's not gonna get you anywhere, buddy. So well, let's race. I don't think they're gonna do good at all. All the boys look so cute in their go karts. I'm literally loving every minute of this. This is so funny, especially because our dad's around and the vibe is so different. We like go-karting because our dad loves go-karting and it's like a bonding daughter-father bonding moment that we can have with him. I'm sitting in this go-kart right now and I'm terrified. It's like, I'm gonna kill these guys, you know, it's just like Good Mario Kart. Good luck. Good luck. Do this. Go, Alex. Here he goes. All right. Oh my gosh, I'm really nervous. Here we go. Let's go, boys. Oh my gosh. Is that Tim in the front? That's yeah. Tim. Tim's doing good. You think so? Yeah. Well, Christian's holding in there. Do you want to give a Okay, wait. This is Butterworks. Week starting. Student driver. That has to be Brandon. Student driver. 6'5", 23. Alex has, Alex has the fastest lap. Student so driver. Far. Student driver is um, Zach. Okay. I told you okay. Zach was going to be good. He's going to be good. Oh, good. God. This is really nerve-wracking. Alex is doing good. If Christian wins again, that's three times he's beat MVP. They're over two seconds off of my time. I'm feeling great. I'm taking these corners. I'm drifting. I'm getting like the adrenaline flowing through me. I might win this thing. Well, Christian's drifting. Bye. Go. Let's see what he does. What's Brandon? Brandon's number three, he's in third. We just got oh, second. Just, Brandon just got, got second. <laughs> Alex Honestly, is kidding me. Just... You're kidding me. What does that mean? One more lap? Yeah. Oh, oh no. no! Go, keep going, keep going, keep going! I'm the only one that wiped out, so. <laughs> Embarrassing in front of dad. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, wait, let's see if Alex is going to be No, keep going, keep going, keep going! Wait, is that it? Yeah. That was actually aggressive driving right there. I think Brandon got lucky. 
Alex had better lines all the way through. He was a much smoother driver. How did driver. Brandon get lucky? I think someone bumped him. Who got hit? Anybody get hit? Yeah. I, yeah, I, he I, I, I hit too. I kept yelling. I was like, Brandon, get out no. of the way! I, I screamed at him. him. I was like, oh, you need to move because he's oh, kept blocking. I yeah. Know. And then no, I hit no. you and you kind of stopped <laughs> I was and I passed it. <laughs> and that's when you hit me. That's crazy. Hi, everybody. Oh, How guys. was that? So, so never been go-karting, ever. You haven't yeah. ever been yeah. go-karting? Wow. You did all right. You're right. Oh, nice. Well, we do have the results. Do you guys want to hear the results? Yes. Yeah. All right. In, in last place, with a t his best time was 22.498. That would be Tokyo Drift. Tim. Wow. I'm really disappointed getting last place because I'm very competitive. And honestly, like, my mood was like, down. Like, after that, like, I'm like, you were like first to second in the beginning. I was the first car, so obviously I'm <laughs> <laughs> With a lap time of almost a full second faster, it, the time is uh, in fourth place was 21.613. That would be student driver. You were you were first one time. Yeah. Yes. You were first, yeah. Well, it was worth it. <laughs> Alright, in third place with a podium finish is a 21.3 flat. That would be Mrs. Buttersworth. That's right. Which is the best one. Good job. Dude, I'm stoked I won third place. I thought I was gonna get dead last and be out there driving like a grandma. Are you kidding me? I'm so happy right now. Second place with a time of 20.807 would be 6.5. No way. Wow. <laughs> with a time of 20.753, that would be weak stomach. Weak stomach, baby. Brandon. <laughs> as far as like the smoothest driver, the driver that passed the most people would be Alex. He passed the most yep. people. It was impressive. I would give you the best driver award just based on how smooth you were driving and stuff. So. Thank you, I appreciate it. All right, so, so it's clear who the MVP of this challenge is, and it's Brandon. Well done. Good job. Good job. I cannot believe Brandon won. Listen, the only reason Brandon won is because he got bumped from behind. He was in last most of the race. Seriously? No, yeah, why are people saying that? Brandon got lucky against me. I should have gotten first place. The person who won my heart this challenge is going to be Alex. <laughs> I'm excited. Like I'm finally, I'm finally ready to get my chance, and I think it's gonna go great. Because he gave her a f pillow. You want his heart over here too. So. <laughs> in that bro kind of way, you know what I mean? Yeah. I answered cars on the test too, so nice. Oh. You did. You did. Why don't you guys get ready for your one-on-one -on -one date, and we'll see you guys later. Okay. So the minute I said Alex is going to be going on the one-on-one -on -one date with me, everyone was just kind of like, uh. But Brandon was like really mad. Yeah, I don't know what's up with Brandon. He is a little melancholy. I'm sitting pretty at second to last and I'm not stressed. I don't have any problems with Alex. It's the it's the whole thing in general. Yesterday we went on this nice <laughs> date and then like after that you would think that she would have just picked me again or something. Just, I don't know, it pisses me off. Oh my gosh! Wait. What the heck? Three goats and two yoga mats. Okay, what is this? We're doing goat yoga? I've heard of goat yoga, but I never think I'd actually do goat yoga. No, I've never I've never heard of goat yoga. <laughs> How do you even do goat yoga? Are the goats teaching yoga? Or how does it work? Well, we interact with the goats while we practice yoga. So there might be a moment to where the goat will either jump on you or crawl underneath you. Okay. Why? Maybe even knock you off balance. I think I would fall if they jumped on me. I'm already not that good at yoga. I don't need a goat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're so cute. Yeah, Gigi. Let's go. Gigi. I don't really know how the goats are going to be incorporated into the yoga, but I guess we'll give it a shot. I'll try anything once. Welcome to your practice. So I understand that we are yoga practitioners, yes? Yeah. Okay. So we'll start nice and gently. <laughs> Let's just place your hands on your knees. You're gonna feel some hooves on your back. Okay. Take a moment to see if you can close your eyes. Let the smile and the laughter happen. 
I could tell we're both like, like, ha ha ha, like, we were pretending it didn't hurt. It was like more fun and we kind of bonded more over that. Switch. Rainbow to the other side. Oh, <laughs> Why did it go on me? Now open your knees nice and wide and bring your big toes together. Send your seat to your They're heels. All on me now. Okay. I think I'm feeling three goats on my back right now. Sleeping breath is different from your awake breath. I'm just kind of looking over to her to like make sure this goat doesn't just like wreck her from the side. Cause honestly, like these goats are making me pretty un unsteady and I'm just making sure that she doesn't like get hurt or fall over or anything. Take a moment to tuck your toes under. Sometimes that helps with the balance with your feet flexed. Exhale down into your spine. He's been on for like five minutes. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna do a balance. So this is where we may fall all over the place. Okay. First, reach your left arm forward like you're gonna shake somebody's hand. Excuse you. Nice balance, nice strength. Thank you. Is this one goat been on me for like 10 minutes or is it just me? Yeah. It was like kind of intrusive. Like I'm trying to do downward dog. This goat is balancing on me the entire time. It was the same goat the whole time. Little Bit, I think his name was. And he was just balancing on my back the entire time. All right, chill. <laughs> Alex is really fun and is making this date really fun. I just hate what we're doing because the goats are hurting my back. They're pushing me and scratching me and knocking me over. These goats, I swear. Yeah, these goats are crazy. Like they're just stomping their hooves all over me. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna balance with the goat on my back. Always say you'll try. You can do it. Yeah. Wow. Oh. That's great. Some good. Oh, my butt. How does he do that? I think she's liking the date a lot. I think it's funny. I think we're being able to like get more comfortable with one another. And yoga with goats is kind of funny. I think it was a great date. <laughs> that was so good. Alex is holding my hand and just kind of like touching me and hugging me and uh, I love this feeling. This is what I've been wanting. This is what I want. Oh, he's so sweet and so cute. It's really funny too. We take this peace, this bliss out into the rest of our day, rest of our life, we may it become infectious. We close with a, a, an untraditional namaste. It's called ba namaste. So take a big inhale. Ba namaste. Nice work, my friends. Thank you. Ba namaste. <laughs> that was so fun. I know, so. I didn't, well, I kind of wanted the goat thing to end, but I didn't want the date to end. I so. for sure wanted the goats to get off me. That's for sure. That's a definite. <laughs> so we're back from the date. We're about to get, um, we're about to go inside the house and me and Vanessa are talking. He like is looking at me like he wants to kiss me. But I had a lot of fun with you. Me too. Today. If the date tomorrow is as fun as that one was today, I want to go on it for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the date tomorrow is. We'll so yeah, we'll see, I guess. Yeah. So. I'm hoping he makes the first move, but I just, I just don't know if he will. And there was kind of a little moment there where I thought like I should kiss her. And for some reason I just, I just didn't. And I still really, I really want to kiss her. I think, I think I'm going to make that moment happen tomorrow. <laughs> What's up? So we walk into the house and everyone's up on the roof. So we go up to the roof and it's just, there's so much tension from all the boys. It's not just Brandon, it's all the boys. All right, well, let's like take 15 minutes and you can go shower and then we'll get ready for eliminations, okay? 
Fantastic. I'm making making a little blanket fort out on the terrace. So I picked up a little zoo of stuffed animals and I just want to have a, a relaxed night with her to kind of talk to her and spend some time with her. All right, guys, so it's time for the elimination process, which means one of you has to go home. Yeah, today was a super fun day seeing you guys race and stuff. So it's really hard for me to choose. I'm feeling nervous. My heart's like beating on my chest. I'm like trying to contain it, you know. I'm trying to stay cool, you know, try to stay relaxed. All right, in the bottom three, the first person is Tim. <laughs> Next, in the bottom three, is Zach. Bottom three again for the second time, but it had to happen. You know, there's only five of us. Two of them got saved. That leaves three. Third, in the bottom three, is Christian. Again? Like, that's the... It's the second time I've been in the bottom three, right after a really good date. Um, partially the reason why you guys are in the bottom three is because you guys got last places in go-karting. <laughs> <laughs> Zach, we haven't really connected that well. Um, we have talked here and there, but I don't know. It's just kind of, things are, I don't know, iffy. And Tim, um, you're just really quiet today. We didn't, I don't even think we had even one interaction today. All of you are very sweet, and again, this is super hard for me. Listen, I slaved away at making this beautiful thing in the balcony. I bought stuffed animals and stuff like that. If I go home tonight, that's all done. The person who is safe is Christian. Oh my goodness, I feel very blessed right now, and I am not gonna mess this up anymore. The person who is not a match for me is Zach. It's been an absolute pleasure. Yeah, in all honesty, I'm grateful for it. I met a lot of cool people, and I think Vanessa's really sweet, but in the grand scheme of things, it just wouldn't have worked out. So Tim, that means you are safe. You've obviously joined the guys back on the stairs. Um, hope you guys get a lot of rest tonight because tomorrow is going to be a fun day. I was bottom two. I almost got eliminated, so you know, I really got to step up my game. First day, I was like at the top, but you could tell I'm slowly declining, but you know, I'm gonna shoot right back up and you know, win her heart. So after eliminations, I get told to go to this room. Come in. Hi. Hey. I'm feeling bad, and I feel like we haven't got to talk so much. <laughs> and I was in the, the bottom three twice in a <laughs> row, so I know. Yeah. <sighs> There's some layers to this. First, okay. there was a t-shirt that you like really liked the first day I was here. Uh -huh. And so I'm wondering if you want to wear that. Oh, and it's comfy you. too. Yeah, and it smells good. Mm -hmm. What if I do this? Even cuter. I'm here to uh, make Vanessa happy and do something very personal to me because I really like romantic stuff like this. I picked up a little zoo of stuffed animals. I'm making a kind of pillow and blanket for. So Christian lifts up the blinds and reveals this like movie scene basically like the sun is setting the colors look absolutely gorgeous and they're stuffed animals did you do all this I did. oh my gosh thank you <laughs> what's that ginger ale ginger ale yeah, yay it's really fancy i know cheers classy this is so nice. She is glowing right now. Truly, I'm getting like a little nervous to talk to her because I'm, I'm literally flustered by how cute she is. I'm having so much fun with Christian. We're secluded, no one's around, we're just talking. I'm really enjoying this. Aww. Is it cute? Is it, it cute? Is. You are very pretty. Oh my gosh, thank you. Oh, this is so cute. Aww. Thanks for doing this. You're I needed to spend more time with you because I really miss you. Aww. Time. Oh, you're big. Look at, wow, that's like a rock right there. Look at you, tough girl. In comes Brandon. 
glances through the window and then gives his typical <laughs> runs out the door, slams it. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> I'm kind of shook, but you know, I'm brushing it off, talking to Christian, and I look down the balcony and I see Brandon walking away from the house. Is he, is he straight up? Should I go after him? Yeah. Here. Okay. Can't wait. Here. So I'm running out of the house, trying to catch up to Brandon. Why are you going? It's me, where am I going? I'm walking away. Why? Okay, yeah, come back. Come back to the house. I don't know how much longer I can do this. Like, I don't, I don't even think, like, it's worth, like, staying here until the last day just to see that happen. Like, I actually f***ing like you, and it sucks because, like, I don't know what you feel at all. Can you tell me how you feel? There's so many cameras on the <laughs> 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 No idea what's going on. I run into the room that Christian was in, and I see Christian on the balcony just staring down. And we see Brandon and Nesson, the, the crew with like a light tube, running and chasing Brandon down the street. He stormed out. Today I wanted to kind of do my thing, and then yeah. he came in and really? threw a dramatic fit. She left, and. Mm -hmm. Oh. That's okay. Oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. I find her in our room just crying. Are you okay? This is just a lot. It's a lot. I know my sister and she doesn't just cry for anything. Like I know this is taking a toll on her. Why did you run after Brandon? Well, I felt bad for him. Now I feel bad for Christian. I feel bad for everyone. Um, I think you should maybe go talk to Christian. Just at least apologize. I know he was looking for you. Okay. So here she is chasing after a guy who just threw a temper tantrum and I'm cleaning up what was a really nice date. Are you okay? Yeah, Are you good? I'm fine. I feel How so are bad. Are you okay? I'm oh, okay, oh, yeah. Oh. I feel so bad leaving you. That's okay. That's okay. I was okay. just there kind of cleaning up and doing all that stuff. How are you hey. doing? Are you fine? I'm fine. Okay. It's just, I don't know. I'm feeling a lot, so I just wanted to. Yeah? Would I a, felt bad leaving. Would a kiss make it better? <laughs> it's dark chocolate. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. That means a lot. You're welcome. Good to laugh <laughs> in tough situations. I'm really happy after that apology. I still want to talk to her about it and like fully decompress from the situation, but thank goodness I got to talk to her tonight. Nessa, so, so what really went down? Like I wasn't there, like I, I'm panicking. Well, I went after Brandon because I thought he was leaving and obviously didn't want him to leave the show. So I chase after him and he starts talking and basically just getting mad about the show because he says he has real feelings for me. And I was like happy about it, cause this whole time we've been wanting, I've been wanting to kiss him. But after we kissed, I don't know. I just started to feel really conflicted just about everything. I promise you guys that this is not staged. Um, this is all real. Like even Brandon was asking me, who, who, who told you to go do that? Who, who, who made that happen with me and Christian? And I was like, no one, no one told me to do that. Christian did that Christian himself. did that. I know, and uh, like, yes, this is a show and stuff, but it's, you know, real feelings are coming through and we're bringing you guys along with us on this journey. Yeah, today's been a lot. Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, How did it? No, sit down and talk. No, I'm not you talking want, to you, why bro. Why you, you don't? You don't I'm not talking talk to you, bro. Hell no. Hell no. What the fuck? Dude. They hey. think we're doing another group group date. Yes. A little do they know, we're doing the twin swap challenge on them. I'm so, so confused right now. What's wrong? So tonight, there's actually no MVP, and there's actually no bottom three, or no bottom two. Oh my god. I'm <laughs> 
if you commented earlier who you think would be MVP of this episode, go edit and change your answer or say if you're right or wrong. Also, make sure to subscribe to Awesomest and hit the bell button to get notified when the next episode comes out. Subscribe to Awesomest TV's YouTube channel. And we'll see you guys next episode. Hey guys, I'm Veronica. I'm Vanessa. And this is a dating show where I help find my sister her perfect match. And if you haven't seen the last episode, you have to watch it in order to know what's going to happen in this episode. I woke up this morning and I felt like I was gonna throw up. Really? I just was, I don't know. There's so many things going on in my head right now. And I don't know, I, like, you know, the kiss with Brandon. <sighs> I don't even know if I want to kiss anyone else. You are trying to find love, and if something happens, you just gotta go with the flow. I know. Did you feel like any excitement, like kissing him though? Like any like butterflies, or like, you know, that feeling you get? Like 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 the spark that you get I, when you kiss someone? I thought I would, but I didn't. I just wonder if any of the boys know that Brandon kissed me. <laughs> And I want to know how they feel about it, but I also don't want them to know. All right, let's just take a deep breath in. All right, let's move on from yesterday's events. All right, time to go talk to the boys. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. All right, I hope you guys are feeling good today. Yep. Yes. So I'm not really feeling too well today, so I just, I don't know, there was a lot that happened yesterday and I woke up and I was just kind of stressed out. So we are going to eliminate the group date. I'm so confused, like why aren't we doing a group date? We've done one every single day. But instead, we're going to give you each 15 minutes one-on-one -on -one with her. Yeah, so if, you know, there's anything you've been wanting to say to me or, you know, anything, Make sure you choose your time wisely. Time is running out. All right, let's go upstairs. Honestly, the vibe has been like the most awkward it's been this entire show. Dude, I'm, I'm confused right now. It's bad because I almost got eliminated. Now like I have to like really tell her something. I don't know, man. Yeah, you're good. I don't understand why why she she would have had a bad night like the fact that she's she woke up today and said that she was having a terrible day or like from a bad night it like kind of like made me think like not only like was it me or like do i just like lay off now because if i'm causing her stress then i don't even want to be near her yesterday was a yeah. day. yesterday yeah yesterday f us up. Yep. because of you because of me yeah because you know you set this up that pissed me off how did it piss you off that I said something? Because you were laying on the f***ing balcony with her and I walked in. That pissed me off. Why did you walk in then? Doesn't I matter. didn't walk doesn't in matter. when you went up to the roof so with what? strawberries you don't, and chocolate. It doesn't matter, you don't f You know what? Bro, do you even like her? Yes, I do. How did it- No, sit down and talk. No, I'm not you talking to you, Why do you- You don't, you don't even want to talk about it. Hell you no, know, what the f*** you? Bullshit. Nah, bro, you must play it. Again, I'm not. What are you talking about? Just don't do that again, because next time I'm not gonna just walk out. Oh, what are you gonna do next time, then? You, bro, you don't wanna start hey, that, dude. Relax. Dude, just calm down and have a conversation. All right, so have your 15 minutes with her today, and then you'll be gone, right? right? That's it. Brandon and Christian are kind of going at it. Brandon's kind of like at his throat at this point about something that happened last night. Um, I didn't see what happened. Are you kidding? Nah, there's sometimes no point in talking. But now Brandon's getting in my face. Thank God for Tim right now because I'm stressed, Vanessa's stressed, and I really don't know what's happening right now. I knew it was gonna be a dating show. I knew I was gonna be with other guys in the house. I knew it'd be exactly like this. I knew I'd get pissed. Obviously, I agree that she should have a fair chance with everyone, but it still doesn't mean that I can't have emotion over it. We're so not awesome going on a group date today because Vanessa's stressed. If there's tension in the house, She's gonna stay stressed for the whole freaking day, so. That has nothing to do with you and me, bro. That has nothing to do with you and me. It is everything that she's stressed because of you and me right now. Look, we're all, we're all trying to say the same thing. We're all, we're all here for the same reason. I don't have to like you. I have to live in the same house with you. Okay, so then we're gonna deal with it like that. We don't need to talk to each other, but that's it. You piss me off and that's it, straight up. It's a dating competition. I took her to eat strawberries. You took her to cuddle up with her? 
how do you approach someone like that? I don't know what to do right now. I'm literally terrified. He, uh, he's scary and I'm scared. <laughs> what just happened? Yeah, you didn't do anything wrong. That's what I'm thinking. It's a dating show. Yeah, it's a dating show. And, you're and I wanted to do something special for her. Mm -hmm. Like he, I am feeling really stressed right now. I don't know how to make of this whole situation and I don't want Brandon to do something like dumb that he's gonna regret. I think no one wants to see that. So, you know, I'm trying to do my best to stop these conflicts. We don't get to choose how she feels about all of us. So, you know, there's no point in like, like getting each other's business. Cause you know, if she naturally wants to be with you, I'm not gonna be sabotaging you you know, I want what's best for her, you know what I mean? So like, whoever she chooses, you know, like, I'm not trying to put you down. We got something very special planned for the guys today. They and think we're doing another group group date. Yes. A little do they know, we're doing the twin swap challenge on them. If you don't know what the twin swap challenge is, we are identical twins and we are going to put the guys in a situation where they're with Nessa alone and then halfway through the middle, she has an excuse to leave the room and I come in looking exactly like her and see if they can tell the difference. Okay, so I think we pretty much look similar. When we I switch so. though, I'll have to give you my rings. Mm -hmm. So I need to focus on um, sounding like you. You need to go higher. You need to go higher. No, you. I end with my sentences higher. No, I end with my sentences higher. Eee! No! Ronnie, come on! Ronnie, come on! I don't know what sounds like me. I don't know what sounds like me. That doesn't sound like me. That doesn't sound like me. Hello? Hello? No! No! Ronnie, stop! Ronnie, stop! <laughs> Ronnie, you have to, like, act like you're into the guys and you can't do your Ronnie faces because you have Ronnie faces that I don't have. Ronnie faces! I feel like out of everyone, I feel like Brandon's going to know. That's what I said. Tim, maybe. Alex, I don't think so. Actually, Christian probably will be able to tell us apart. All right, I think we're good. Let's, Let's go trick twin some boys. Tricks and boys. This is so nerve wracking. Come in. Hi, come in. I'm so happy I'm gonna talk to Vanessa one-on-one. -on -one. You look so nice. Thank I love you. that shirt on you. I got you. So oh. There's like a whole story. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, there's kitty cats. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Come on, let's have a nice day because these. He just wrote her a really sweet card. I wanted to let you know if I end up getting eliminated that I had a memorable time getting to know you. I couldn't help but smile whenever you smiled at me. I honestly feel you are a wholesome person, very down to earth, and overall a good human being. I wrote her a nice card and I got her favorite flowers. I legit called 20 to 30 flower stores just to find those flowers. Oh, well, that's so sweet. Thank you. I'm sorry, Vanessa, I'm having trouble hearing you. Oh, okay. Oh, no. Okay, wait, I'll be back. Oh, no, I lost the switch. Oh, my God. That note. Take it, take it, take it. Oh, okay. Wait, what the letter? That note was so What do I freaking say, dude? He's going to be so able to tell. tell. I know. I need some I have a good support system. Okay, okay. I don't know. Let's just do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. Wait, his face. His face, his face. His face. Um... Where were we? Why are you here? <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? It's obvious. It is? Yeah. What? What makes it obvious? I know how you guys look like, how you guys talk and everything. Really? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Go in there. No, when you first came in for a second, I was like, just because you're wearing the same outfit. But when I saw your face, I was like, no, nah, that's not me. Oh my gosh. Okay, good job. You passed the test. Okay. <laughs> oh my Do you God. think any of the other guys will be able to tell? <laughs> you think? <laughs> yeah, it was, it was easy. I was like, what? I didn't know what was going on. I'm not going to be like, hey, get out of the room. And then she sits down and she looks at me. I'm like, she's trying to act like she's Vanessa. Those flowers are really hard to find. 
Yeah, he said, why are these your favorite? And I said, I don't remember telling him. Did you tell him? Did someone tell him these were my favorites? Mm -hmm, yeah. Did you? Mm-hmm. He figured it out right away. No, he looked at you like, what are you doing, what are you doing here? here? All right, shall we bring in the next guy to trick? Hi. Hey, what's up? How are you? Good. I just want to start off by saying I had a great time yesterday. Me too. I feel like really comfortable with you. It was a lot of yeah, fun. Yeah, yesterday was super fun. Huh? Yeah. Well, I know that you're stressed out. Um, you don't feel great today. So I just, I, I wrote you this, just kind of like my thoughts for the past few days. He's been journaling. So oh, I thank wanted you. to read it for you. Oh, okay. Okay, you ready? Mm hmm So with my 15 minutes, I'm gonna try and come up with something like short and sweet. Tell her how I feel, how I've been feeling these past few days, how it's gotten so much better as the day's gone on and how much closer and more comfortable I feel with her. Um, I'm gonna try and draw her something too and I hope that she likes it. So listen when I tell you that your journey is your own and nobody can take that away from you unless you let them. Be the best that you can be. And don't forget, don't let the good times go to your head or the bad times go to your heart. Aww. And then I tried to draw like, um, I like to draw, I tried to draw, this was like the freckles are kind of what I, I like one of your, my favorite qualities about you. Really? Yeah. You like my freckles? Yeah, I think they're cool. Thank you. <laughs> Do I have freckles? Hey, sorry girl. Um, you have mad flyaways. Okay, let's look at your hairspray, okay? Okay. Cool. Wait, wait, I'll be back. Oh, stay there, stay there. Right. I'll be back. Oh my gosh, I know. Yes, I, I wasn't even you. paying half Crazy. attention. Did I get it? Did I get it? You're good. Okay. <laughs> that was really sweet. Thank um, you. Yeah. Well, how are you feeling about yesterday and everything that's been happening? I feel really good. I don't. Yeah. I've honestly, as the days have gone by, it's been like kind of warming up and getting more comfortable, and I've really enjoyed it. That's Especially cool. getting to know you. I think we have yeah. like a lot more in common than I thought. Yeah. He doesn't know. What do you think about like Brandon and the other guys? Um, I think I'm kind of worried about Brandon and Christian going through that thing last night. I didn't really see what happened. I kind of like to stay out of that drama, but... It was crazy. I feel bad for Christian because he doesn't hey, deserve that. Vanessa, I'm so sorry. Let's just do it like one more time with your hair. Okay. It's coming up. It's the ponytail. <laughs> I know. It's the ponytail. Let's just make it right. Oh, no. He does. No, that does not. He, maybe he was just being polite. I don't even know what's wrong, honestly. <laughs> it's a girl thing. Just sit down. Just sit down. Okay. Is she gonna tell him? Okay, so glad I got that out of the way. That's just kind of how I've been feeling. Those are like my thoughts. Mm -hmm. And Thank you. I just want you to know that I'm here for you if anything you need. Okay. And yeah. All right. All right. It was really sweet and then he walked away. Oh, thank goodness he didn't kiss me on the forehead. Okay, yeah. Did did he tell? Could he tell? I don't think so, Nessa. This is not good. I knew he wouldn't be able to tell. Okay, okay. okay. next is Christian, and I, I know he's gonna be able to tell. You think so? Yes. Let's go. Hello. Hi. Hello. How are you? Good. I don't know if you're hungry or not, but I made some cinnamon, cinnamon toast. toast. I actually haven't eaten today. Really? I tried to make it crispy on the outside, soft on the inside. It tastes so good. Yeah. Exactly how I like it. Oh, good. I feel bad about you yesterday. That's okay. I'm sorry. So, I, no. It's, well, it's have... kind of like kept the whole thing kind of a secret from the other guys. Like they were downstairs and I was up here like making mm -hmm. it and doing all of that. And Oh, he's blaming himself. Oh, Christian. So I wouldn't put that on you. So. Yeah. Worry about it. Okay, good. I'm She's glad in. you see it that way. <laughs> but I feel bad running after him. I just thought he was actually gonna like leave oh, the yeah. show. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so you, I was no, like, you, you, you kind of had to. I was like, to. do I need to go after? Yeah. Guys, can we stop for a second? We're having trouble with your mic. I'm getting some interference. I'm not ready for this. Okay. Let's just go outside, guys. Yeah. Okay, stay there. Okay. Gosh dang it! You gotta eat the salad toast. Gosh dang it! Sorry about that. That's okay. This is so sweet of you. So, how are you feeling? I am feeling good. Did... Hmm? 
I'm What's so wrong? confused right now. What's wrong? Did you just switch with your sister? No. What do you mean? I feel like I. Hey, hold on. Sorry, sorry. Pause you. Let's go get some hairspray on your hair. There's a couple of flyaways I want to get off. What kind of what kind hey, of game are we okay. playing with? Oh, I absolutely know. You guys just swapped places. Come on. A twin swap? Okay, that's actually pretty smart. I like that, but didn't get me. There you are. Hmm? What, that, what game was that? What do you mean? What, what do you mean, what do you mean? <laughs> Your she... sister came in here. No, she didn't. Yeah, she that did. was me. No, my mind is confused right now. You have very different faces. Yeah? <laughs> 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 Dude, I caught on so fast. You did. Get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> you kept looking at me. You were like. All right, well, now we got to bring up freaking Brandon. I haven't talked to him since last night, and I'm really nervous for this. What's up, little one? Hi. What is that? All right, it's going to be fun. So, look, you're stressed, so to stop stress, we're going to play a game. All right, okay. you ready for this? It's actually really fun. I don't know if you've ever done this. So whoever is reading it, the other person puts a little bit of water in their mouth. Okay, look, you're gonna randomly pull one out and you basically, since you love Screamo, you have to say what it says Screamo-wise. No! Yes. All right, so I'd be like, I'd be like. <laughs> so No, but you'd be like, applesauce sucks. <laughs> and if you have water in your mouth, then you, and you, you spit it out and you lose. So that's what it'd be like. Okay. So don't look and just pick a random one. Oh, I smell cupcakes. <laughs> I have to put water in my shirt now. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I didn't think I was. I'm gonna touch I'm up so my makeup real quick. I'm so sorry. You're fine. I'll be back. Hold oh on. Oh my god. I can't believe I just did that. I got 15 minutes and just spit on it. I cannot believe this is happening. I'm so sorry. Like I, it was like I'm just gonna put my face in the bucket. I'm so sorry. He has no right. idea. All right, so, so I, so I have one point. So Wait. Put water in your mouth. No way. <laughs> hold it, hold it. Okay, okay. Ready? <laughs> Rainbow butt farts. <laughs> That's up. That's up. Oh my God, Vanessa. All right, cool, we're one and one. Okay, sorry guys. Um, Vanessa, let's fix your hair. Oh, okay. You got some flyaways. I have some hairspray to put on. You have to like reset <laughs> after spitting. No way. No freaking way. <laughs> no way. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. Oh, oh my freaking gosh, Vanessa. He called me Vanessa and he's hugging me. He did the thing where he throws your neck. <laughs> Isn't it nice? <laughs> no. Yes, because you Why have to- Why don't we just talk? All right, because you're sitting stressed. What are we going to talk about? I don't want to talk to you more because then everyone else out there is talking to you. Why would we talk? Why wouldn't we just play a game? What do you mean? Because you're stressed. So I'm not going to like talk and make you more stressed. We'll just play a game and you'll forget about things. And then I make you smile like I've done. <laughs> you mean me already? Mm. Where is my Snuggie? when you don't laugh. <laughs> I don't want to go in and do another twin swap because he was like so touchy feeling and like, I'm not comfortable doing that. <laughs> what do you want to talk to me about? Why did you run off like that? Because I was mad. Why? Because I was mad. Stop whining. Why do you keep whining about stuff? I'm not whining about anything. I'm chilling. He's such a flirt. <sighs> was that cute? Did you like it? Look. No, I hated it. You could tell on my face. Yes, you couldn't even tell us apart. I know. Neither could Alex. What the heck? 
I'm just saying. I thought he would be able to because I you know so too. he kissed you. So well, should we go uh, down there and reveal to them what just happened? Yeah, we need, we need yeah. You know how the one on one date is supposed to be bowling today? Mm -hmm. I was thinking because I can't really decide on who to take today on the one on one date, we should just. Oh my god. Because there's so much tension going on right now. It'll, it'll like ease all the tension to just have fun and play bowling. Or only the ones who know just get to go with bowling. I'll decide when we go down. So the girls call us down and we're standing in, a, in like a straight line. It feels like, like a firing line. I have no idea what to expect. I had a lot of fun hanging out with all of you guys one-on-one. -on -one. So before I pick out who I want to take on my one-on-one -on -one date, I actually have a confession. We switched halfway during those. <laughs> two of you noticed, two of you did not notice. <laughs> Sorry for spitting on your leg. <laughs> Finding that out was terrible. My like heart dropped. Good talk. <laughs> okay, wait, Brandon, come back. At the end of the day, like it's just a prank and I think, I like that, I think that's really funny. It was really fun for us, <laughs> so we're sorry. But I think we should all go together on the one-on-one -on -one date. And we are gonna go bowling. Bowling. Yes. yes. Okay. okay, let's go. I know like Vanessa's differences so well. The only reason I didn't know is cause like one, I had the game. So like I honestly like distracted myself. I definitely like 100% would have known that like it was Veronica if I was like fo more focused on it. I wasn't even focused on it. Like that's the only thing like I can say. No, no, we switched, no, we switched no. Oh, wait, Are you Oh my we switched God. on you. <laughs> I thought that like when she said we switched half of you that like only two people had gotten swapped and I was like, great, I was talking to Vanessa the whole time. Both of you found out. Yeah, he Tim noticed right away. Even how you guys move, how you guys smile, a lot of things I can tell the difference like right away. You, was, you were tripping. <laughs> I was tripping. I thought I was having problems. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. I, oh, dude, I saw oh. no difference. I'm pretty disappointed in myself. Are you serious? How do you not tell them apart? You've literally spent the past, what, like four or five days with her and you don't know the difference between them? Like, come on guys, it's so obvious. Especially Brandon, like, how does he not see that? Uh, I'm, I'm done, I wanna go home, I'm going home. <laughs> <laughs> I do feel really bad for Brandon, I was trying to calm him down and like take it on the chin and move forward. Like we just, honestly, we just got got. That's end of the day, we got got. Okay, so two of the boys are butt hurt and I wonder who. Jeez. It's a so, prank. It was a prank and we're seeing their true colors. Our producers have been listening on their conversations because we're all mic'd. Me and Nessa are mic'd right now. And all the guys are mic'd and they can still hear us talking. Even when the cameras are off. So, uh, our producers just let us know that Brandon and Alex are conspiring about the elimination process. Brandon thinks he's getting eliminated, and so he's asking Alex to have Alex step down and eliminate himself if Brandon's in the bottom three. I'm not gonna ask you to do it, but that would be awesome. <laughs> I'm, I'm, no, no, I'm saying, would I wait until like if it they're about to eliminate someone or after they've been eliminated? Probably before, right? You'd wait till they see if they eliminated me. So I genuinely feel like I want to just throw up right now because, I don't know, I just feel like I'm being manipulated and used because now I don't know like what's real and what's not. I guess what that shows us is that someone hasn't been super truthful with their feelings. As much as I hate saying this, I think Brandon genuinely wants to be here. Like I'm here for a genuine reason and they're like conspiring and stuff. Yeah, I really don't want to go before. Bro, I just wanna give you another shot. Cause like, I started to like her yesterday. I literally had those feelings. But at the end of the day, I, I do have like a chick that I could go home to. <gasps> Alex said that? Automatic disqualification. Like you've got a girl waiting at home. Like I'm sorry, I don't want to be involved in that. So now I have to figure out how I'm gonna go bowling and not make this awkward. Let's go. I'm not a very good bowler. But I'm ready. Oh, oh. That was better. So 
now we're at the bowling alley and it's even more awkward than we were expecting. Oh, whoa! So what the oh, are you? Today, Alex and me have decided to basically, during the group date, to not really give her so much attention and kind of stay back and see what, what kind of happens from it. Oh, baby. Hey. I kind of noticed Brandon getting a little upset. You know, I'm chilling, you know, I know where I stand. So, you know, he feels threatened. So obviously he's getting mad. Yeah, Brandon and Alex aren't really making an effort at all at bowling. It seems like it's just those two and that's all that matters right now. So how does it say this slash means I got a oh. hole? Oh. No way! Wow. Wow. I really do think that Tim and Christian were making a lot of effort to have a good time and just hang out, but Brandon and Alex were really bringing down the mood. So I had to do what I always do when I feel awkward and feeling left out. I called my best friend, Aaron, and asked him if he was anywhere close to where we were and he just happened to be with Alex and they were five minutes away. We gotta close the earbuds. What up, yeah. boys? It's over. Hello! <laughs> hey! Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Oh, hey! I was the last one to see you. What's up? Oh, hey. oh hey, shit! Man. What's going on? Oh. My boy Alex and my boy Aaron, you know, Asians coming through. I love them, dude. Like, they got that high energy. Honestly, when they came in, like, it was a whole different place. I can't even Don't see miss. where I'm going. Are you holding the ball correctly? You're, there's an extra hole. Yo, that's a bad idea, bro. That's a <laughs> bad <laughs> idea. She ends with her wrist. Yo, you're gonna have a broken. Oh! <laughs> That was quite scary. <laughs> With Aaron and Alex being back, I'm really excited. There's like a little bit of camaraderie between me, Aaron, and Alex. I think they're really cool guys. They've been really supportive and um, helpful for me. <laughs> oh no! Alex did a penguin slide, dude. <laughs> I'm feeling like with Alex and Aaron there, the guys are starting to have more fun. I don't want it, Alex. Oh, let's go, baby. So Alex shows up, and I just get this huge, like, big sigh of relief. And I was just like, oh, someone home, my friend, please save me, type thing. I really was happy that he was there. Okay, so it's been a great time. Hope you guys had fun. Thank you, Aaron and Alex, for joining us. But we gotta go back home now and do the elimination process. Yeah, so let's get going home, you guys. All right. All right. All right. Let's go. Ready. I'm back in it. <laughs> Am I back in it now? Yeah, you back, back in. I think, I think if we asked the guys, they would vote me back in. I'll see you on season two. Thank you. <laughs> so we're back at the house, and I don't even need time to like prepare. I know exactly what I'm doing. Hello. Bullying was um, in interesting. But, you know, I still had a little bit of fun. So tonight, there's actually um, no MVP. And there's actually no bottom three or no bottom two. The person who is not a match for me is Alex. Thank you for having me. Goodbye, Alex. Thank you. I feel a little surprised. I'm not really good with goodbyes, so I don't know what I'll say. I really want to say something. It feels weird because I, I said a lot of things that I wanted to say in the day today, and it feels kind of, it kind of hurts a little bit, like saying all those things and being so vulnerable and then getting eliminated in the same day. So I think talking to her again after being eliminated would be even harder. All right, well, that's that. So good night and I'll see you guys tomorrow. The fact that she picked Alex before the other two, it kind of caught me off guard. Alex just left, and that was quick. It was tense in there, dude. 
Dude, that happened so fast. Like, what the hell was that? Yeah, like, I don't know what's going on. I just want to be left alone at this point. Um, I didn't want to see the boys at all. I just, uh, I, I don't know why I didn't go upstairs, but I went outside and went in the farthest corner I could find. And then Brandon comes and talks to me and it's really stressing me out. I tell you everything that I feel and all the and I just, I don't know, like, I don't know what you want. I'm looking through the window and I see Brandon has got Vanessa kind of in a corner, like she can't move because she's blocked by him and blocked by the pool and it's just, not a good situation for her. I need to walk out there and I need to split them up and make sure that she's okay because she's very stressed right now and I want to give her whatever she needs. I'm good. We just came out to check on you. See how you're working. I'm, I'm doing fine. <laughs> okay. I'm good. So Brandon is expecting me to give him answers and I can't, there's literally two other guys who are in this show still and I'm trying to be respectful to them and he's just, he's really, Pushing the edge. She wants some space. Just give her some space. I can go tell her something if I want to tell her something first off. You don't okay, tell I'm me not, what to do. I'm not gonna stop. You're just you, but don't stop. Right? Okay. Like you really want to stay here and like be happy with that. Like why can't you just like like if you know what you want, why don't you just go for it? I don't know what to say to Brandon. None of my answers are pleasing him. And I see Ronnie out of the corner of my eye. I need saving right now. What? It's nothing against y'all, but like... <laughs> oh, I know. It's nothing. I know. Like, I have zero problems with you guys. Like, I I've know. been with you guys since day one, but like, at this point, like, with three people left, like, if I want to say something, obviously, like, I wouldn't block you from saying, like, you know what I mean? What are you talking about? You wouldn't block me from talking. You were upstairs there. That was a different story. I'm talking about, like, right now. If you want to go talk to her, I'm not going to, like, be like, no. Like, you can, Fair like, enough. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, but I wasn't trying to, like, you can't go talk to her. I, I was telling you I she know, wanted she was, space. Yeah. So I wanted to give her space, and yeah. she's not going to get space I if everybody's this is the Situation is like I'm you're it's stressing me out now. It's stressing me out too. It's stressing everybody out. That's why I think everybody needs well, to take why, some space. Like, I don't get why we're like in this. Like, why am I in this? I'm just trying to think about her and give her space when she wants space. But now Brandon's getting in my face about like, I just want to end this thing and he wants it to be over and he wants her to choose right now. But like, that's not how this works. I'm really nervous. I'm um, setting up something very special, super romantic. I hear a knock at the door and I'm just like, oh, who is it? And I open the door to see an assistant saying, someone would like to talk to you upstairs. I can't say who. As I'm opening the door and I see Tim, I just get this big like sigh of relief. I like Tim's energy and his presence and he's not stressful. So I was really happy to see Tim standing right there with my favorite song, Claire de Lune playing in a bunch of candles and the sun is setting. So I know Vanessa likes to dance. I'm pretty sure this is gonna help her feel better. <laughs> Why did you do that? I'll, I'll know, we can both do it. Okay, wait, I'll be, I'll, 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 I'll be the guy. I'll lead you. I'm leading you. Okay. Do I go like this? What am I doing? That's we're it? just, we're doing this. Okay, no. so you're expert. No, I just... Wait, like, oh, I'm not flexible. Like that? Okay. And then like... <laughs> Why are you so good at this? I don't know. <laughs> it was fun. I enjoyed it. I mean, I got spun around a few times. This is exactly what I needed. I needed Tim with the sunset and the candles. It's been a long day, but I think it ended on a really, really good note. So today is the last day. I've started to develop feelings for each of the guys in different ways, and it's very complicated. Oh, I hate elimination so much. The person who is not a match for me is, but I have to make a decision. Are you shocked at who we eliminated? Comment down below if you were right. Make sure to stay tuned for next episode. It is the final day where Nessa chooses her perfect match. So you have to make sure the bell button is on so you get notified when that video comes out. Subscribe to Awesomeness TV, subscribe to our channel. All the links will be in the description below. Follow Awesomeness TV on Instagram to get behind the scenes exclusive content. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye. Bye. Hey guys, I'm Veronica. I'm Vanessa. And this is a dating show where I help find my sister her perfect match. 
So we're down to the final three guys, and we're still trying to figure out who is the perfect match for me. If you haven't seen the other episodes, go watch them to make sure you're filled in with all the drama. Last episode, there was too much intensity, and things got interesting. Comment down below who you think is the perfect match for me, and at the end of the video, edit your comment and let us know if you are right or wrong. So today is the last day, and how are you feeling? <laughs> I am, I don't know. There is a lot going on. Last night, Tim helped me relax and kind of relieve my stress, but I woke up today and that stress kind of all came back. So today is about clarity for me. I'm just super confused and overwhelmed with emotions and I need something to just show me who is the right guy for me. Even though it's gonna be really hard to eliminate everyone, you kinda have to. It's mm. called tough love. And you have to show it sometimes. And you gotta do what's best for you, Nessa. It's just gonna be hard because I'm gonna feel really bad. Because you know, these are real emotions and stuff. All right, let's go talk to the boys. I feel so good right now. I'm so happy to be here. It's the last day. I'm in the top three. Let's do this. All the stress was yesterday and like no drama has happened yet. You know, we're just all chilling, playing cards. But you know, we never know what we're going to do the last day. Um, I think Brandon is really desperate. I woke up this morning and I just have a new mindset. I'm very independent as a person and I want to remain that way. So because of that, I've let my guard down and now I'm putting it back up and that's it. She picks me, great. If she doesn't, she doesn't. The thing about Brandon is like, you know, he's like the cool dude, you know. He's like, girl, I don't care about no girl, but you know, it's kind of obvious that he does have feelings for Vanessa. Like, he's just trying to play cool. Good morning, guys. Hi, good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. 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 yeah? Okay. <laughs> I'm so excited you guys are my final three. We're going to have such a fun day today. Yeah, today we got a fun group challenge. So some of you may know we do live a very busy life with social media and YouTube. And um, the challenge for today is you guys are going to help us with a photo shoot because we need some content for our Instagrams. As crazy as that sounds, it, if you're going to be dating my sister, you gotta be thinking work about work and stuff <laughs> and helping her out. It's fun. So you'll you'll help me take pictures and we'll take pictures together. Okay. But the real challenge is Nessa is going to look bad in some of these pictures on purpose to see if oh. the guys will point it out and make sure she looks good for the camera. <laughs> I always look good. They came down and announced that today's challenge is just uh, kind of like a photo shoot challenge. We're just gonna be taking pictures of them and uh, then we'll take some with us, of course, and it'll be fun. It'll be just a good time and that's it. Yeah, I totally understand why they'd have you do like an Instagram photo shoot and stuff like that. It's just part of their job. I picked the pool to do this photo shoot, okay. but I know that you've already like yeah. taken pictures in the pool, but I'm seeing this really cool kind of light up here uh -huh. from the pool's reflection. So I'm thinking we get you on the wall like and then this? you're a bit in the shadow. Wind speed is good. Well, we have to check. Okay. How does this look? Yeah? Perfect. Okay. What else should I do? You just saw a, a very white kitty cat run by. <laughs> ha oh, yep, there it is. Look at, look at that smile. They're adorable. Like, these are coming out great. Let me see. Okay. Let me yeah, see. Okay. This one. I'm like, uh, really? <laughs> <laughs> look at me. So, Christian takes me out to the patio to start taking pictures. He's got some good ideas. Am I getting good Instagram content? Oh, you are. This angle is perfect. You can tell she's been on a photo shoot, or 50, because she knows what she's doing. Now let me take pictures of you two, together. Okay. Here, did you want to like touch up anything, Nessa? The plan is to make Nessa have lipstick on her tooth. We didn't really talk about the plan and the action. No, we to didn't. get to that point. So I decided to hand her her lipstick that I found in the bathroom. Okay, smile. <laughs> What if we like sat up on this, yeah, like sure. with the pool? Uh huh. Like, do I look okay? I'm gonna try not to oh, fall. Oh, you have a little bit. 
Christian is so sweet. He literally takes his thumb and wipes the lipstick off my tooth. There it is. Did I get it? Okay, uh -huh. okay. Mm -hmm. okay. And I knew right in that moment that was the challenge. Now, like, do like a candid where you're like laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I really like the interaction that you guys have. It just it seems like it's just fun and lighthearted and not so intense and just you can have fun with each other. Does anybody have like a bounce? Can I use a bounce? Of course. Solomon! Thank you! It was really cool that he asked for a white bounce to like help the light reflect onto my face so there was more light for the picture. I don't know, I feel like he understands like my world. The reflector works beautifully. Her face is now lit up. That's gonna be a perfect Instagram picture. I did my job. These are perfect. Good, I'm so glad. <laughs> I've had a lot of fun. Me too, me too. And I had fun bowling yesterday too, and I've had fun. I'm glad. You were so everything. good at bowling. I, at all. You're just naturally talented at it all. I guess so. <laughs> really enjoyed getting to know her and spend time with her and I just wanted to let her know that I am really happy with how the week has gone. So now it's time to move on to the next guy's photo shoot challenge and I hope it goes as well as this one did. Christian did really good. He did. I'm definitely posting one of those photos. So I kind of want to take a photo on the stairs because I think these stairs are really cool. You want to be like right there? Okay. Sure. Okay. Oh, like here? Tim models, so I have a feeling he's gonna be good at this. How does this look? Okay, it looks okay, alright. Okay! Yeah, it looks okay. We gotta warm up, you know, it's like okay. the first tape, you know? Okay, okay. Alright. I'm expert at taking photos. Get that low angle, that high angle. Wait, can I see? Uh, let's, let's look at it later. Wait, what? Okay, what should we do different? I don't know. Maybe standing? Standing? Yeah. So I was really looking forward to shooting with him, but honestly, it's kind of awkward. Maybe just squat down right there. And... Okay. So I'm not really feeling the staircase, but you know, you just gotta work with it. You know, you whatever angles you got, you gotta make the best out of it. You're good at this. I am. Yeah. Thank you. Let's see. How does it look? Okay, you can look. Don't give me your reaction. I like this one. Okay, let me yeah. take. Let me take pictures of you guys together now. Okay. Okay. Right. Did you want to touch up? Oh, sure. <laughs> okay. Maybe it's because I'm like pressured to do well. I got kind of nervous. Okay, I I got it. Okay. All right. Okay, I want you to. Yeah. Take it. Yeah. Oh shoot. I should have just left it off. Why? <laughs> that would be so funny. No. Okay, what do you guys think? Bad, I don't know, my leg is weird. Bad angle. No. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, I'll take it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Tim was not impressed with my photo taking skills. Oh, Come yeah, on. No, you're not good at all. They were good pictures. No, they weren't. Yes, they were. Were they? Were they? I was kind of like, Okay, um, you could go now. It's okay. Thank you for trying, you know. So Tim isn't really giving me any direction at all on what to do, and he's not wanting me to see the photos and how they're turning out. So I feel like this is kind of a disaster. Why don't we just talk for? Oh, I have something real quick. I can get it real quick. Oh? Since we're taking a picture. What is it? What do you have? Well, I'll talk about it first. Okay. Um, you know. I know you had fun with like all the guys mm -hmm. and you were really sad to like let them go. Mm -hmm. So I got you something for like all of us. <gasps> oh my gosh! I'm giving Vanessa a picture of the day one contestants with her and her sister. I just wanted you to have like a good memory of like your whole experience here. Aww. This is really sweet and a nice gesture, but I'm not sure about looking at all my ex potential boyfriends. I don't think I told you yet, but I liked all your outfits. Really? Yeah, like all of them. But my favorite one was when you were um, 
wearing the brown long sleeve? No, that was my sister. No, you were it. No, that was Ronnie. Why did I even bring that up? Oh my god. <laughs> no, you were it. When? Go kart. Oh, my hockey jersey? Yeah, the hockey jersey. <laughs> The little stripes yeah, at the end, yeah. yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. I was like, I'm eliminated right there. Oh my god. It was her. I'm really relieved. I just it's had a good. heart attack. All right, so now on to Brandon. And who knows what he's going to do. Okay. What should I do? <laughs> I want to do a sexy photo shoot with Vanessa. Like this or no? Yeah, yeah. You gotta tell me what to you do. You need to like stay like that and work it. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. I actually feel like the photo shoot's going pretty well. He's got ideas in his head and he's making me feel really confident. Dude, Vanessa's hella photogenic. It's funny, like when she'll actually look in the camera, like it's like instantly you could you could take it and it'd be a perfect photo. It's kind of funny actually. Right in the middle, cross your legs, grab that fur pillow. Yeah. Hold the fur pillow like that. Good or no? I don't need to tell you. Oh, right. what do you I need to now can lay I back. see what they look like? No, lay back. Yeah, and now just kind of like, just like go like this, but look out the window a little bit. Out the window a little bit. So Ronnie comes in and I do the lipstick thing. All right, all right, let's, let's go out here. Let's go. Honestly, I feel like out of all the guys, he was the most casual about it. He was just like, oh, you got something in teeth. Take it? Yeah. <laughs> One thing that is making me a little bit uncomfortable is how touchy Brandon is wanting to be during this photo shoot. We have had this like connection all week, but I'm kind of ready for him to stop doing that type of stuff and to get to actually know me. How's this? Here, go again. So, come like right there. Yeah. And like kind of look back. Just kind of. Kind of. Does it look cool or no? Oh my gosh, it does kind of look cute. I hate that any angle that I was trying to get that was supposed to be bad ended up being good. After the photo shoot, uh, we're just kind of on the balcony talking and. Honestly, I'm at the point where, yeah, I'm sure I, I could sit there for hours and talk to her, but I just don't want to. I just, we have, we had only a little bit of time and I, I've said everything I needed to say to her. I truly believe that and that's it. Now it's time for the first round of eliminations. The worst part of the show. We are doing two eliminations in this episode and I'm very nervous because I had an idea of who I wanted to eliminate last night, first thing in the morning. But I think now my mind has changed. Hey guys! Hey. So that was really fun. I hope yeah. you guys had fun, yeah? yeah fun. The pictures turned out great. You all are actually really good photographers. Yeah. I may not be the best. No, you're team. not. <laughs> well, anyways, it was really fun. So actually the real challenge of that photo shoot challenge was to notice like details and stuff and make sure that I looked good. And all of you passed because I purposely put lipstick on my teeth and you all were very sweet about it and made sure I was looking good for photos and you didn't leave me hanging. <laughs> so that's good. So there is actually no MVP of this challenge and you guys are going to go on the one-on-one -on -one dates, but not just yet. We are actually going to go into eliminations and eliminate one of you right now. So let's head to eliminations. I guess we're doing eliminations now. I'm, I'm kind of nervous. 
yeah, I don't know what's happening right now because everybody got the lipstick thing. So nobody really like messed anything up. So I'm just confused and that's adding to my stress and I'm a little scared right now. A, a lot scared actually. When we do eliminations, it's really hard for me to make eye contact with them. I'm looking at Brandon and he is sweating. This whole like experience has been super fun and getting to know all of you has just been absolutely amazing and I will always remember this experience. To the person who is going home, I just want them to know that whoever is out there, the person you end up with is going to be the most lucky person in the entire world because you are absolutely amazing. She is shifting through some very kind things to say and I kind of have a feeling it might be me. I think it's me. I have a feeling that um, I'm gonna be chosen. So the person who is not a match for me is Him. She announces my name. I'm kind of like speechless. I'm a little delirious right now. I'm in shock. It doesn't matter why she didn't choose me. She just didn't choose me and you know, I'm gonna move on. I do wish that it ended better. It seemed like I didn't really care, but it was just more of like, I don't know, I was shocked. So I'm like more feeling now. I didn't even say goodbye to the guys. I just straight walked away. I think it's all hitting me now, but yeah. I had a great experience, you know? That leaves you guys. You two are left. You guys can start preparing for your one-on-one -on -one dates. So I eliminate him and I just, I almost want to cry. Me too. He just leaves. Like most of the guys kind of like lingered around, said goodbye to everyone and he, he like just leaves. At the end of the day, I felt like I was always having to like start conversation with him. And I, I do understand he's a quiet guy and there's nothing wrong with being quiet and shy. It's just my personality is so big and bubbly, like I feel like I need someone who is going to, you know, start conversation and be outgoing and stuff. But I do like Tim, I did like him, I do like him. I feel horrible sending him home. I think Christian and me are completely opposite. Obviously we're both outgoing, but we are definitely very different. And at first I thought that he wasn't gonna make it because of that. and. He is now in the top two with me. So, so happy that I'm still here. So eliminations are done and Brandon and Christian start like, bro, yay, we're safe. Like, oh, you're cool. Like, they're bonding now. Of course, I'm telling you right now, Brandon has manipulated his way through all of the guys and now he's gonna get into Christian's head for sure. I was under the impression that Brandon and Christian didn't like each other, so to see them all buddy-buddy, it's kind of shocking. I think it's a little sketchy. Daddy! Hey, Tessa, how's it going? Hi. How have you been? Good. You been doing all right? <laughs> What's been going on? How are things going? You've eliminated some guys, I see. Yeah, so now it's left with Christian uh -huh. and Brandon. That was the final two. Hey, you know, you just gotta trust your heart. You yeah. just gotta trust, and you just gotta make the decision and just go for it and not worry about it. Mm -hmm. You know, no matter what anybody else thinks, except for me. All right, so we are about to hop into our one-on-one -on -one dates. How are you feeling? I have a really tough decision to make because I like them both. I think they both have different qualities about them that I like more than the other, and it's just, at this point, it just I have to go with what my heart is telling me to do. And I feel like I need to listen to what you have to say too. But you haven't. <laughs> I'm just gonna do these one-on-one -on -one dates. I'm gonna go for it, have fun, enjoy my time with these boys, and let's see what happens. So the producers tell me to sit down on the couch, 
for Brandon's date and I'm a bit confused because for a date, aren't we supposed to do something? I'm not really sure what's going on. I'm not planning anything. I'm just gonna tell her how I feel and that's it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna end the date. So I hope this doesn't make you mad, but uh, I just want to come out here to like, kind of like tell you um, how I feel about you and then that's it. I, I don't need like 45 minutes with you to tell you that. Um, I'm gonna tell you how I feel and then it'll be elimination. Um, okay. <laughs> um, you're probably like one of the sweetest girls I've ever met. Like I. I like knew when you like walked in, I like first met you that first day that like you're just, you, you have a really good heart and I think that's why you and me got along so well differently than everyone else at the beginning. I'm so glad that I met you and I'm glad that you met me and honestly whoever you pick tonight, it's, it's, uh, it's, on, it's up to you, I don't, I'm, I have no hard feelings against him, I have no hard feelings against you, whoever you pick, uh, that's your choice at the end of the day who you want to be with. I just want you to know like, a million girls next to me, I would without a doubt pick you. Just keep being a mush. No matter what happens. A little cute. <laughs> I'm not scared to get like vulnerable at all. Obviously I've let my guard down because of all of this and so because of that, after this not knowing what could happen is what kind of like gets me. So Brandon stops talking and just gets up and leaves and doesn't really give me a chance to say anything. There is like a difference between love, lust, and liking someone in passion. And I feel like right now I'm just lusting after Brandon because I think he's really cute. I'm a sucker for tattoos. So I'm just lusting after him and I'm ignoring all the bad things I've seen all week and stuff. And I think we tend to get confused between lust and love and we sometimes confuse lusting as love and that's really bad sometimes. <laughs> I'm finishing up, setting up this whole painting thing. Now I'm getting nervous. I have no idea what Brandon did there, during their time, but I'm very excited to see her and get to spend this time with her. Hello. Hi. What is this? This is painting. Painting? <laughs> yeah, it is. Oh my gosh. Yep, I, uh, I figured, because um, earlier you were talking about how I'm apparently good at everything, so I wanted to pick something that I'm very, very bad at, <gasps> which is painting. Oh my gosh. And I've heard you're good at it, so I was you did? hoping that you would teach me how to paint something. Okay. I think it's really sweet that Christian is taking into consideration things that I like and wanting to try new things with me and do stuff that he's not good at. <laughs> Cause he's literally good at everything. I'm gonna paint you a blue kitty. Aww. Okay. I'm gonna paint you some pretty flowers. Oh man, it feels like the first day was so long ago. That's what I was thinking this morning. It has been... It has been a around. journey. It has been. How are you doing? I'm doing Six good. Six days later. And I feel, I feel very, like, not stressed out today. Good. I feel very bad because I was, like, stressed good. out the other days, and, like, I feel like I made everyone else feel stressed out. But. No. I'm a, I'm a huge empath. Um, I have, like, a lot of mm -hmm. empathy, so yeah. when someone I care about is really stressed out, then I feel really stressed out too. Me too. And I just want to do whatever I can to make them feel better. When I'm with Christian, it's effortless, it's stress-free, I'm not conflicted about anything, and I just enjoy his presence a lot. And it's just, I feel comfortable. I'm just comfortable and I'm myself. You know what's really cool about you? What? Is you're just like so down to earth and just chill. I enjoy talking to you. Like, you don't, you're not like putting up a front or anything. That's what I like about you is that I don't really feel like I have to put up a front whenever I talk to you. As you know, I'm a very outgoing guy. Yes. With a lot of jokes um, <laughs> and a lot of bad jokes. Yeah. And so, but I really like you because I can say those bad jokes around you and not feel weird about it or. or Stupid. Stupid. Yeah, I can just no. be myself and be completely open around you. Aw, I like that too. Can you do this? Oops. 
I think Vanessa likes me because I'm, I'm very out there, I'm outgoing, I love to make her laugh, and I like to just be around her, and I think I bring a certain positivity that she is attracted to. I have considered myself blessed every day Aww. that I get to keep getting to know you and spend time with you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. That's so sweet. Here's your painting. This <laughs> is beautiful. Don't you love it? I love this Here. so much. Please look at my painting. Admire my work, please. And I did not finish it. Do you want to finish it? I was going to do a gold outline. Here, do you want me to finish it for you? I would love that. <laughs> Okay, okay, I get wait, to see the, the pro goal? at work. I play all of my cards and I make moves and I put myself out there and I see what happens. And so, you know, it's down to whatever Vanessa's preference is. Okay, so okay. let's see. Here are... Little Boy Blue and... and... The Colorful Flower. <laughs> colorful. There was something here that I could feel from the start and I'm very glad that I'm still here. Yeah, I'm glad you're still here. Thank you. You're so sweet, Christian. This date was a breath of fresh air right before heading into eliminations. It was just nice. We're about to go in. Brandon kind of pulls me aside, says he wants to talk to me, and I have no idea if Brandon is as sincere as I am or as sincere as he puts out. I gotta ask you, um, at first, I really, really didn't think that you like liked her. Like yeah. most of the guys, I didn't think that. Mm -hmm. No matter what, who she chooses, that she'll be, she'll be in good hands. Yeah, um, I agree. We actually have this really good moment where we both agree that Kind of whichever way it goes, either one of us are gonna take care of Vanessa and make sure she's treated right because we both really care for her. So I was looking for clarity and I think I finally got it and I'm ready to head into eliminations. So I've had a lot of fun hanging out with you guys this week and you both are absolutely amazing to get to know and talk to and I enjoy everything about you guys. You both are absolutely great guys and it's really hard for me to come to a decision. The person who I'm eliminating I could say so many things about them and how great they are and... Oh my god, this feels like an eternity right now. <sighs> the person who is not a match for me is Brent. I'm blown away right now. I'm blown away. I don't even want to be here. I want to go. So the person who is a match for me is Christian. And I can't wait to get to know you more. Oh my God. I am so happy right now. I, I didn't even dream of this happening on day one, but I am over the moon. I'm so ecstatic and so looking forward to the future. I can't wait to get to know her more, spend more time with her. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. I didn't get picked, that's it. Let her deal with Christian, no, that's it. So I'm going home. And I just lost a great girl too. That's it, I wanna go. I wanna go. Okay, please let me go. He always just kind of surprises me. He's always super sweet and just super kind and I can just tell he's genuine. At the end of the day, I think I made the best decision for myself. Yeah, I think I, I did good. I have spent 
the last week finding the most authentic and amazing person I have met and I am so happy to have spent this week with Vanessa. I'm so excited to see what the future holds for me and my match. This has been a crazy experience, especially for me to watch and just be a part of this. We had no idea that this show and this whole journey would come to this. I'm glad with my decision, Christian is a great guy and I really enjoy his presence and he's just awesome. To all of you who are searching for love, do not give up. There is hope and there is someone out there who is perfect for you. Let us know in the comments below if I chose the person you thought I was going to choose. Also, let us know if we should do a season two where we match our single friends up with some guys or girls. Thanks for watching! Subscribe to Awesomeness TV. Subscribe to our channel as well. Give this video a thumbs up and we'll see you guys later. Bye! Hey guys, I'm Veronica. I'm Vanessa. We're, we're the, the Merrill Twins. Twins. And today we're going to be reacting to season one of Twin My Heart. Vanessa was on a dating show and I helped her find her true love. So if you haven't checked it out, you guys should go watch it right now before you watch this video. Yes, six episodes, they were really good. Don't wanna miss it. There's a lot of things that happened off camera or that I didn't see. So we're gonna to react to some of those stuff from each episode. Are you ready? <laughs> I'm nervous. But okay, let's go. Oh, this is Alex. Alex. <laughs> Alex. Alex was sobbing. The house. Alex was. I was so shook when Alex came out of the van. I was like surprised at first. I'm like, why is he here? Like, we're already friends. Like, I thought it would be fun to have him on the show because you know he is a friend and he was someone that you knew. The rest of the guys were. Strangers, mm -hmm. so I, I thought why not bring one of our friends so a lot of people ship me and Alex and Alex and I are great friends we're really good friends we hang out a lot I just don't think he's like my type to date we do enjoy similar things and we laugh at the same types of jokes and he's really sweet and just a good human being but I just really enjoy his friendship a lot Publicly friend zone. <laughs> I am making friends. Oh my gosh, this is like one of my favorite. Like, look how excited moments. I am. And look how excited I am too. He was making French toast. <laughs> French toast, assuming we all wanted French toast. I thought that was kind of whack, honestly. It's kind of whack. Why? So we didn't. He's trying to show off his cooking abilities again. You gotta get a new gimmick, then it's been two times now. Oh my gosh, everyone's hating on Christian! Why is everyone hating about on the Christian? French toast? Look, like, everyone's getting cereal. He was making it for everyone. Yeah, he's so sweet. And like, everyone was hating on him. I enjoyed the French toast. Like, what's wrong with French toast? Specifically, cinnamon French toast. I feel like during this time, all the guys were being really mean, and I didn't know why. But now that I'm watching it and seeing all their confessionals and stuff, it makes me realize that they were just really jealous of Christian and his cooking skills, and they were just mad because the day before he had the creme brulee, and then not all the French toast. Sorry that Christian knows the way to a girl's heart, and that's food. food. So we were just enjoying like the sunset with stuffed animals and stuff. <gasps> Literally, he walked in and I, like you see the look on my face like, like that's my like look, I'm like. In comes Brandon, glances through the window. But my face was like, gives a typical <laughs> and runs out the door, Christian. <laughs> Christian is so funny. Aww. I was so confused. Like look how confused I am. Yeah. And then I saw him running out of the house. Look. I was like asking the producers, I'm like, he's running away. And I was like, should I go after him? Cause here's the thing, pause. So the reason I ran after him was actually because I thought he was legit leaving the show. And I was like, he can't leave the show. Like, and none of the producers were going after him or camera guys or no one stopped him from leaving. So I was like, I have to go after him. And I felt 
absolutely horrible leaving Christian because I was having such a great time, but I was like, he's leaving, like we can't leave. I was in our room, just <laughs> chilling on my bed. I was so tired, I was like. <sighs> then all of a sudden I hear this slam, like really loud. And so I got up and I went out into the hallway and I see Brandon, he walks by me, he's like, this is stupid or something like this. And he run walks down the stairs and then I'm like, what just happened? And everyone else, the sound guys were like, what? And we were all like, well, I don't know what's going on. Then all of a sudden, you run out of the room, going down the stairs, and I'm like, oh, well, where is she going? Then I see Kat, the producer, running down the stairs too. And then I see a sound guy with a boom running <laughs> down the stairs too. And I was like, what is going on? So then I went out to the balcony with Christian and then I like figured out what was happening. All right, so this is during the twin swap challenge, and this is when I swapped with Nessa with Brandon in the room, and he didn't even notice. I am so sorry. Like, I didn't, it was, like, oh I didn't my gosh, he hugged me. Look, I'm, did you see my face? <laughs> did you see my face? She went, I'm so like uncomfortable here. He had, and he had I no idea. I can't believe he had no idea. But I will say, this game, <laughs> she, I was like, your hey. facial expression is very... I got to spit all over Brandon. Did you do it on purpose? No, it was a game. <laughs> I just did not want to be in that room because like, I, he was, he's just very unpredictable mm -hmm. even just throughout the whole season. And I was just like, what if he like, tries to kiss me or like tries to grab my hand or starts rubbing my arm or like leg and I was like, I ain't about that. <laughs> if he would have done that, I probably would have like blown our oh cover from doing gosh. the twin swap. So apparently it was Cecil's idea and Tim took it. Yeah. Like I, this is sassy Cecil right here. He got so like upset. Look at Tim, he's like, <laughs> everyone's like, Oh my gosh, that's so that funny. Cool. I felt bad for Tim. <gasps> like, yeah, I told him to, see, to do that. I told him that if he wants to get a chance with Vanessa, he needs to say something to someone who's in his way, and Tim's in his way, and I didn't expect him to call. I didn't expect him to call me out like that. Why did Brandon tell Cecil? Brandon was just stirring the pot he for everything. He was really everything. stirring the pot. I really saw like everybody's true colors after the show was filmed. This was filmed like ahead of time long ago. And when I was watching this show, I was like, no wonder why so many people didn't like a certain someone. And I was like, oh, this was when Brandon and Christian were fighting. Brandon was just really like. Look, Christian's just trying to be like, have a talk about it. And just Brandon was just like, no. <laughs> with his glasses on. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. He like basically, Brandon basically threatened Christian. Look at Alex, he was trying to calm him down. And just Alex like, was trying to calm Brandon down. And oh my gosh. So oh, I didn't see what happened. Oh, this was the night oh, after. Oh, yeah, the night This is the morning after Brandon kissed me. Tim, Tim looked oh, stressed. Tim. Christian looked so stressed out. Everyone was so stressed out. Vanessa stressed. You were stressed. Oh, Christian really cared about you. Christian was so nice and like such a the oh, bigger person. Oh, he's trying person. to talk to him again. Like looking at the show and everything, I was just like, dang. We had no idea this we was happening. No idea. Literally, Literally no idea. But like, aren't you glad that Christian was like the mature one? In oh the yeah. I my decision was good. I picked right. <laughs> So I've just kicked Brandon off. So this is his confessional. That's it. Let her deal with Christian. No, that's it. So I'm going home, and I just lost a great girl too. That's it. I want to go. I don't. I, wanna I go. can't tell. Okay. He's like, I want to go. Please, let me go. Like I can't tell if he was legit sad to go for, or if he was pretending and I think that was my issue with Brandon the entire time I couldn't tell if he was saying things for the show or if he actually genuinely had feelings for me and I couldn't deal with that I think he genuinely had feelings for you I think it kind of clearly shows right there I can get really analytical about those types of things and I can't deal with that so I'm like 
you gotta go. So this is when Erin asked all the guys what her best quality is. A bit more comfortable. What do you, um, what do you guys think Nessa? of Nessa? Oh, you guys got quiet. Everyone got quiet really quick. Really. <laughs> 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 so I said she's very yeah. sweet. Okay. All right. One, one word, word to him. Okay. Favorite thing about her, go. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so sweet. Okay. Dimples. Dimples. Smile. smile eyes. Okay. Freckles. Freckles. Personality. Her, her positivity. Positivity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He oh, said my positivity. Oh, he was so sweet. Oh, that's like okay. such a nice thing to say about someone, like in general. Yeah, like it really is. What's your favorite thing about Vanessa? Everyone straight went to like physical appearance, while Christian went to like personality, personality and stuff. And I think that's so sweet of him. I think it speaks think. a lot. I mean, mm -hmm. if a guy likes you for your looks and only your looks, maybe you should rethink about being with that guy because they have to like everything about you, not just what mm -hmm. you look like. Right. So this is the guys taking the test. And Brandon literally He got a zero. Got zero. Nessa, he got a zero on your compatibility test. Look how like how happy he is about getting zero. I'm just like okay, one I still think I'm gonna get that one on one date. Well, I mean, obviously it didn't matter to you that he got a zero. Well, so okay, hold let me explain. So Obviously he got a zero and I was like like oh kind of sad about it. But you know, I was also thinking like, oh well opposites attract, right? So I was like, I'll still give him a chance because you know he's like we're complete opposites and there was like like more physical chemistry there. Um, but obviously <laughs> you guys know I w didn't choose him at the end of the day, but it's the fact that he was so confident still that he would get a one-on-one -on -one date after he failed my compatibility test, like not even one question right. Like at that point, he just went blah, 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 blah. Like I feel like he just didn't even try. But it didn't matter because he stuck till the end. Oh, this is me and Tim's date. This, oh, this was one of my favorites because we just chilled and I feel like we instantly had a spark. He's because we twerk. I can twerk. The fact that I said I can twerk and he said we instantly had a spark. I feel like a lot of people were like, why did Tim stick around so long? But I think people forgot about how like good this date went. Yeah, and that's why I kept so him sweet. around because I was I really liked Tim. I thought he was so sweet and kind and genuine. Again, and he was very opposite to me. Like very opposite to me. But we had things in common. What up, boys? Okay. okay. Oh. So this is Alex and Aaron joining us at bowling. Oh yeah. Okay, wait, wait. Can I say something? I was having a miserable time at bowling. Literally, I was just sitting there. It didn't make it in the final like cut of the episode. It didn't come out across that I was having a really bad time, but I really was. <laughs> so like, I, I texted the producer, I was like, can I invite Erin? <laughs> and she was like, yes. <laughs> and I was like, okay, they're down the street. So then I, we, um, yeah, I texted them and then they came and yeah, this so is they what showed happened. up. They showed up. And I was so excited when they showed up. Cause Every, it was so awkward. It literally was so like awkward. The thing is, so wait, Christian and Tim were making a really good effort, but Brandon and Alex, Alex just like their demeanor and their vibe was just making the whole experience well, so. Awkward. It was also I was in my mind that, that I was like, Alex H has got to go because remember that whole thing happened right before that. Mm -hmm. It's like he's he's leaving. I didn't care that he was doing nothing. If you guys didn't know, here's some tea. The night Brandon kissed me and everything, that outfit I'm wearing, I'm wearing in a video Alex posted on his channel. So it was that same night. So I had my mental breakdown and all that stuff. And Alex came over to film the video. And it was just really sweet because it really like just calmed me down and my nerves and everything. And he was like, so how's it going? Like, are you good? Like, are you okay? And I was like, yeah, I'm okay. Like Brandon kissed me, all this stuff. And he was like, do you know who you're going to pick? And I was like, no. And Alex just was like, you know, based on the first day and what the guys were telling me and stuff, he said, you know, Brandon's a player and maybe you should be very wise about choosing if you're gonna go with him or not. Just be careful because of the things he was telling Alex. And he said in front of you too, 
you know. So. Oh, but did you listen to me or Alex? Eventually, no. I did. Come on, I did eventually. Ready? Eventually, but it took you a, a bit. There was some major tea spilled that night from Alex Wasabi, just to clarify. And so it really did affect my decision making for the end. Alex is a good friend. At the end, I made a really good friend and, you know, loyal friend and just really realized, you know, how people are, like, in your front of you, behind your back, and it just made me think about a lot of stuff. So I learned a lot from this experience. Yeah, I'm very, we're both very grateful for the mm -hmm. experience and the friend that we both made. Do you think season two will top this season? <gasps> season two? Thanks for watching! If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to Awesomeness TV, subscribe to our channel while you're at it, and if you didn't watch any of the episodes of Twin My Heart, what, what are, are you, you doing? doing? Comment down in the comments below what your favorite moment from season one was. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye! Hey guys! I'm Veronica. I'm Vanessa. And I'm Aaron. <laughs> and today we're doing Twin versus Best Friend Challenge. You guys are going to write down your answers and then show them. If you get the answer right, you get a point. If you don't get the answer right, you obviously don't get a point. Person with the most points at the end of the challenge knows me the best. So let's see who knows me the best. My twin sister, who my I, best friend, who she's known for 23 years. <laughs> I've known her for two years. And also, if you guys know the answer, leave it in the comment section below. Find out who knows Veronica Merrill the best. I got my phone. Got my handy dandy notebook. All right. First question. What is my favorite food? One, two, three. Tacos. Taco. Okay. So you guys, you get the point. Okay. Yeah. Next question. What is my worst habit? Are you stumped? I don't want to say the wrong thing and get in trouble. <gasps> oh my god. <gosh. laughs> I'm honestly way. I feel like this is kind of you're struggling on this one. She's got a lot of bad habits. That's the thing. But this one, it might be the worst. Okay. One, two, three. Dirty room. Doesn't listen well. What the heck? Like you can't hear well. No, I can't, but that's not a habit. That's a I'm the, I'm Okay, the... you got it wrong. It's actually not being clean. Uh, meaning what? my room. Your room's not that dirty. And you have to be clean. I did Aaron. have to clean it. It took some hours. <laughs> Next question. If I were a superhero, what would my superpower be? These aren't realistic questions. Okay. You should know this. <laughs> I know oh. we've talked about it before. I think you know for sure. Are you drawing something? Okay, ready? One, two, three. Be invisible? Speed. Run fast or the force? No, not the force, just run fast. You want the force. Well, you can't put two answers down. She, it's, it's, in the past, it's switched. She's always wanted to be able to use the force, but she likes, she's always wanted to run past because she likes Dash from The Incredibles. I knew that. I just didn't write it down. My memory is in my favor today. I okay. wish I was invisible right now. It's not looking too good for you. What was my favorite subject in school? I got it. Hold on. I got it. Okay. Okay, ready? One, two, three. History! Science. I did chemistry! I had chemistry on here. Specifically, the weather. Is it? Science! I had chemistry and then I erased it because I thought history. But I like best history. Friend are you? Are you well. doing this like on purpose? Yeah. You have gotten zero wrong. Because I know you. You're my best friend. <laughs> And my sister. <laughs> Maybe this challenge should be. Look at Erin making those faces. What face? Maybe it should be. be you got like everything wrong except for tacos. Tacos is important. Okay, maybe this should be retitled Best of Friend versus Stranger. What is my biggest fear? Hold on. Uh, now I. There's a lot now of fears. This is where I get 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 a little bit stumped. Stumped. Mm. Biggest. Fear is. Do you know her? I she's, told you. She's got a how lot. How general can we be? It's one of my biggest fears. Should I not can second you say guess it's myself? It's one of my biggest fears to me. It's one of my biggest fears. I feel like Maybe this I is one of those things where I don't want to say the wrong thing again. Come on. 
You got 10 seconds to write down an answer. 10, 9, 8, 7, this is an eight. Six, this is wrong. This is not five, eight. Four, but I definitely three, know this is two, a top fear of hers. One, go. Losing me. <laughs> I was gonna say being alone, dying alone, but is that it? That is it. I knew it. But what would you say? I put bugs. <laughs> I didn't want to you say know something what? dark. It's technically technically mine is very similar. It's very similar because no. like she's gonna be alone if she loses me. Can I at least have that point? I said it vocally. It's just I didn't want to be. Sad and depressing on camera. Erin, you wrote it down. That was your answer. Dying alone. I'm so sorry. I think you get half a point. What about me? What? That's no, not. I don't think so. <laughs> Fine. Okay. Fine. Go back in YouTube videos. Find that answer. I don't talk She's about it. Never said that. Because I don't talk about it. I knew that. You, you did? did? Yeah, you told it to me like two nights ago. Yeah. Well, you're not playing. Okay, let's, let's keep going. Go, let's go. What is my favorite color? You guys are writing it. I didn't even. Ready and go. Purple. I was gonna do the same thing. We're so creative, Purple. but I wrote it out. Oh, but you're not creative. Sorry. Uh, I can write. Purple. <laughs> it's true. It's purple. My favorite color is purple. What is my favorite part of my body? Can you stand up? Okay. You're kidding me. Erin. Wait. That's not it. I know. That's what I'm saying. You've changed this a couple. You've said a couple things. No, I've never answered this question. But I'm going to say it, that. and it's PG. OK. My favorite part of my body. Even if it isn't, you're going to see mine and change it. Yeah, huh? You're going to see it and be like, yeah, that is my favorite part of my body. Three, Three two, two, one. Birthmark. Hair? No. I was, I put yeah, your, huh? I, you have I, the I coolest put, birthmark put, ever. It's an armadillo. I put butt. I didn't know if you liked your butt. You like your butt? Erin! <laughs> is that not a thing? My favorite part of my body is my eyes. OK, I had eyes. I oh. love my eyes. No, you don't. You <laughs> always have like, my eye is lazy. It is lazy. But so how am I so I'm talking about, like, my eyeballs. Like, they're so cool. But you're telling me that your birthmark, you are not proud of your birthmark. That is special to you. It no one has to... that birthmark. Yes, they do. I want to not that one. Okay, you both got it wrong. I like my eyes. Are you sure she sound, She doesn't sound like your best friend? What is my favorite season? Like weather. Not seasoning. I don't know why, but I feel like there's a lot of intensity right now. Against two. Between, between you two. Sorry, I'm like super competitive today. I'm never competitive. Okay, I'm ready. One, two, three. Spring. Spring. Watch this boat be wrong. Why do you guys think it's spring? Because of Bambi, like and you like the... I like Bambi. Yeah, it's like... Aaron. Is it summer? Yeah, it's summer. It is not but summer. You always say it's too hot. Yeah. And you? <laughs> yes. I think, OK, then maybe you guys are... OK, but who has a cuter drawing of spring? <laughs> mine has colors. Okay, mine has flowers. You both get a <laughs> point. I'm making my way up. What is the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to me? This is kind of a hard one because I am always embarrassed. <laughs> I know it. I don't know it. <laughs> Ready? Ready and go. go. Did you fart in public? Farting. It is. I have a story where I farted in class and it hey. was really loud and very embarrassing. And it's a very like traumatizing it memory. Happened in like in third grade. Yeah. I actually knew that. I'm so happy. So we both get the you point. Guys get the point. Okay. Who is my celebrity crush? Dead or alive? I know who you were writing. They're both right. <laughs> Are we being artsy? I'll be artsy no, I'm with you. I'm not being artsy. I just couldn't. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Go. Marlon Brando. I put Chris Pratt and Marlon Brando. Uh, you said dead or alive. Meaning or not both. You said dead or alive. That is very misleading. That means both. It could be dead or alive. She's technically right, but you are right too. So I had Chris Pratt, and then she said dead. Hey, and I was okay, like, oh. so you both I think I get a half point, though. No. Because I guess you want I half a point? I want half a point. You don't want a full point? You get a full, oh, want, you get a full oh, point. No, full point plus half a point. No, because <laughs> I got Chris Pratt. Oh, okay. oh my gosh, why is this a disaster? Finally, what do I look for in a guy? Are you ready? Yeah. Are you done? Come on. Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. 
One, two, three. A good, good heart. Good heart. No way. What? Yeah, I Why did we get told the same you. thing? Okay. And why did we draw hearts? Well, you both are right, but it was actually a trick question because that question was directed towards Nessa. You know what I mean? What you look for in a guy? Because we are on the set of our new dating show. We are. And this is what I'm looking for. A good heart. Also, congratulations, Nessa. You won this challenge. Barely. 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 Barely, like a landslide. Barely. Do you know how disappointed I am in you? Barely. I'm sorry, but on a side note, can I see meet the guys? But how proud of you are how <laughs> baby? Aren't you proud of me? Yes, I'm very I'm proud of you. See, I'm your best friend. Yeah, yeah, love you. And I'm love sorry. You Shush it. Are you Ow. mocking me? Mm, no. Us. Make sure to subscribe to Awesome Miss TV. Subscribe to Aaron. Subscribe to the Merrill Twins. That's us. And we will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Hey, hey guys. guys! I'm Veronica. I'm Vanessa. And I'm Christian from Awesomeness TV's Twin My Heart. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Today we are going to be exposing ourselves by playing Two, Two Truths, Truths and, and One Lie. lie. <laughs> How to play is you say three statements. Two of them are truths and one of them is a lie and then we have to guess who the oh, what the lie is. Oh gosh. Okay. <laughs> are you ready for my two truths and a lie? Let's yeah, see no. if they can get it. Okay. First statement. I've cut my own hair before. I've borrowed Vanessa's toothbrush without her knowing and I love tacos. The lie <laughs> is that you have used Vanessa's toothbrush. It has to be that one, because that's yeah. nasty, Ronnie. The lie was that I borrowed Nessa's toothbrush before. I have not done that before, because that yeah, is that's gross. Yeah, that's disgusting. Very that's disgusting. nasty. Statement number one. I have lost my debit card eight times in the past four years. Statement number two. I have personally owned three different cars. Statement number three. <laughs> pizza is my favorite food. The debit card was so specific. That has to be true. It could be really? seven times he's lost it. Or nine. Oh, okay, I just think that was very detailed. I think I for think how much lie, you love cooking, I, I think, don't think pizza would be your favorite food. I think that's mm, the lie. Mm. I, that's what I was going to say. I was going to say pizza. Yeah, you guys. Yeah! Oh, it's, it's no pizza. way, really? Yeah. What is your favorite food? My favorite food is my mom makes this beef stroganoff. Oh, it's like a comfort this. food. Yeah, it's my favorite food yeah. ever. See, Aww. I knew that. Thanks, mom. Oh. I am a Hufflepuff. Last night I ate chocolate with nuts, and my third one is uh, one of my favorite colors is the color aqua. What kind of truth or lies are these? <laughs> <laughs> One that you can't get. What in the world? Did she have chocolate? I don't night? know. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, I see. honestly don't think she did. Hmm. It's either the color or the chocolate. Because I've never heard her say one of my favorite. Maybe I'm going to go with the color. That is not your favorite color. I'm going to go with the chocolate. Okay, so my lie is that I ate chocolate last night. <laughs> Sorry. Because I ate Oreos. What in the world? That's so. <laughs> I'm sorry. I told you guys I'm really bad at this she's game. Gonna be, she's gonna be tricky with all of them. First one, I've never gotten a speeding ticket. Second one, I've held hands with Cameron Dallas. Third one, I've never gone over 100 on the freeway. I feel like you're a little speed demon. I feel like you was. Sped on, no, but 100 is pretty fast. I so. feel like I've heard you say before that you've never gone over 100. The Cameron Dallas one. What are you gonna go with? I don't think you've held hands with him. Has she gotten a speeding ticket before? I'm gonna go with so. the speeding ticket one. Okay, and the lie is I have never held hands with Cameron Dallas. Dang it! <laughs> Hung out with him. Nothing happened. <laughs> Didn't you get that? Yeah, I got it! Yeah, you <laughs> got it. See, I've we never got it before, and I was like, has she held hands? She hasn't with even, her? like, grazed your hand? No. Like, See, I tried to think of something that would kind of stump you. Hmm. So, it well, I was stumped. Me. Statement one 
I own over 15 different hoodies. Okay. Statement number two, I have a movie collection that spans over 500 movies. And statement number three, I have never left this continent. I think the lie is that you've never left this continent. Mm. I think you've you, had to have travel. Mm. I think you own a different amount of hoodies. The lie is that I do not have over 15 hoodies. <laughs> I have 13 Whoa. hoodies. No Which way. is still a high number for hoodies. <laughs> Just still a pretty high number. See, I knew it was 14. I, didn't, I knew you didn't have 15. <laughs> first one is my first kiss was in my parents' bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> number two, I found true love in Paris. Number three, I auditioned for Stranger Things. I know the lie, and I think you should go off your first instinct. First instinct is, I f it's oddly specific to kids in a parent's bedroom. And so, <laughs> and also, yeah. <laughs> I'm doing my math. It's calculated. Okay. Um, Paris is the lie. Paris is the lie. <laughs> yeah. You found love in Paris? I know. Or kissed a guy in Paris? I know. <laughs> it's okay, we all have dreams. It's okay. Aww. I had a crush on the same guy my sister liked, but I never told her. I've mm -hmm. always wanted to dye a strand of my hair purple, and I didn't think Christian would win Twin My Heart. <gasps> Bomb! <laughs> oh my Bomb! Gosh. Well, I proved you wrong. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think the strand of purple. I don't think you've ever wanted to dye a strand of your hair purple. Well, the lie is obviously that she didn't think I was gonna win because I was gonna win from the beginning. You both are wrong. <gasps> you've had a crush. The oh, lie and is. I was gonna say. The lie is that I've had a crush on the same guy that Nessa has liked and I never told her. That is a hundred percent lie because I do not have the same taste as guys in her. And when in my defense, yeah, who did you think it was gonna win? <laughs> Statement number one: I almost fell to my death from a waterfall because I couldn't swim very well. Statement number two: I fell asleep in a bush. Statement number three: I didn't go parasailing with my family because I am afraid of heights. Yikes! I think to sleep in the bush is 100%. That has to be true. Because on set you for Twin My Heart, you fell asleep on the couch and it was so hard to wake you up. <laughs> <laughs> I could see you falling asleep. Everyone was anywhere. like trying to wake you up. I can fall asleep anywhere. <laughs> I fell asleep at Disneyland the other day. I was in a restaurant and I knocked out and the waiter woke me up. Oh my gosh. Okay, but so. But in a bush? Hold on. I now think. I'm thinking. Yeah, I think who falls asleep in bushes? You. You. Apparently. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. I think okay, the first one, falling asleep in a bush. That's the lie? I feel like that's the lie. The lie oh, no. was I did not almost fall to my death oh. from a waterfall. So uh, mine are going to be all Twin My Heart related. Oh. Dun, dun, dun. The first one is I would text Brandon and Alex okay. outside of the show. Not Christian. Yeah, I'm, jerk. I'm saying, well, he would know if I did or not. Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then the second yeah, one is I secretly sensitive heart here. <laughs> I secretly hung out with one of the guys outside of the show, and the third one is Tim gave me many gifts. The lie. I think I know the lie. I know the lie. The lie is that. You texted Brandon and Alex outside of the show. That's what I was going to mm -hmm. say because mm -hmm. I know, okay, I know that she texted Brandon. Yeah. But not Alex. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ooh, mm -hmm. ooh. <laughs> the lie is I secretly hung out with someone outside the show. Oh. Mm -hmm. Like during the Christian. show. <laughs> during the show is what I mean. <laughs> After the show. During, 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 during the, the show. show. Yeah. So I think the person who won this challenge is kind of clear. It's not me. me. Not me. <laughs> yeah, definitely you. Good job, Yay. Nessa. Yay. Thank you. And in last gift? place comes <laughs> me. So there we, go. we have that in common. There can only be one winner. One winner. Yay. Yay.
Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to Awesomeness TV. And subscribe to our channel. While you're at it, follow Christian on Instagram. Yeah. Links will be in the description below. Let us know if you guessed the lies correctly in the comments below. And thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Hey, guys. I'm Veronica. I'm Vanessa. I'm Franny. And I'm Neza. Today, us best friends are going to be taking a lie detector test. We're on the set of season two of Twin My Heart. It's been kind of crazy, so you guys need to stay tuned for the trailer because it's coming out soon. We're going to be asking some juicy questions about Twin My Heart season two on this lie detector test and just juicy questions in general. So y'all have a little idea of what's to come. What's in store? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So Nessa, you're first. Let's get you hooked up to the machine. We're going to be reading microscopic changes to your blood, sweat, and breathing. So please answer yes or no with your mouth only, no head or body movements. All right, Nessie, you ready? Yep. Have you ever flashed anyone in public? No. That's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> Nessie's! Nessa! to a great start. <laughs> Have you ever made a phone call while you were taking a poop? Yes. <laughs> True. Every morning. <laughs> <laughs> Neza! Sorry. Have you ever gotten out of a ticket by like smooth talking to the police officer? Yes. <gasps> True. Oh! How? I don't know. He. I think he just felt bad because I was crying so hard. <laughs> So That's your way of smooth talking. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever streaked? No. That's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever had a crush on anyone that we've liked? Yes. <gasps> True. Ooh. <laughs> Do you hate that my name is Vanessa too? Yes. <laughs> True. <laughs> Franny, you ready? Never done this before. Let's have you ever did a silent but deadly fart in a crowded room and said, who farted? Yes. True. <laughs> Come on, everyone's done that. Have you ever held someone down and farted on them? No. That's a lie. <laughs> I don't remember. It must have been when I was little then. Have you ever walked into a glass door? Yes. True. <laughs> Me and Franny both. We saw some friends that we didn't want to see and we literally slammed into a wall. No. A glass wall. <laughs> like we thought it was the door. <laughs> Have you ever had a crush on one of your guy friends? Yes. True. Ooh. I wonder Let's who. Do There's you so many of them. I'm kidding. So for season two of Twin My Heart, do you think any of the guys are really cute? Yes. True. Ooh. <laughs> Do you actually see yourself dating one of these guys after the show? Yes. True. <laughs> You'll just have to watch the show. <laughs> Compared to last season, do you think this season is more dramatic? Yes. True. Yeah. It is. Oh my yeah, gosh. Way more dramatic, I think. Yeah. Do you want to leave the show? <laughs> no. <laughs> it says lie. <laughs> Daddy! Do you hate Ronnie and I for putting you on the show? No. True. Oh, oh, okay, <laughs> good. That's good. Okay, okay you're done, Freddy. Okay. <laughs> My hands are a puddle of sweat. Okay, we'll start off with a question that we all know is true. <laughs> Have you ever set your hair on fire? Yes. How? It's true <laughs> times. How? I was making tacos. And because the stoves out here are open flame, I accidentally got my hair caught in it. <gasps> Don't let Nessa into the kitchen. Have you ever been caught dancing naked in front of a mirror? No. 
That's a lie. <laughs> hey, moving on. Yeah, no, well, have you ever taken a dump while on a date? <laughs> yes. <laughs> True. <laughs> But recently I haven't. I hold it in and it's okay. horrible. Yeah, it's bad. Have you ever deleted text messages so that your significant other wouldn't see who you were talking to? Yes. True. Oh! It's fine, we're all guilty. Yeah, we're, we're all, all guilty of that. Do you think I'm annoying? Sometimes. <laughs> any of the guys in this season of Twin My Heart are cute? Yes. True. <laughs> Don't okay. steal my mans, Nessa. I'm not. Do you wish that you would have done this season with the cast of boys we have for season two? No. That's a lie. They <laughs> <laughs> got some good boys for the season. Yeah, there's some good guys. Do you think you're the funnier twin? <laughs> no. That's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ronnie. Have you ever dated someone because they were rich? No. <laughs> Fail. <laughs> oh. I mean, it's a nice quality. <laughs> I nice. mean. Have you ever had a controllable guess? At work. Every day. Yes. True. <laughs> so if y'all oh, smelling something, it's, it's Ronnie. Ronnie. So I know, I deal with it every day. I'm sorry I'm lactose intolerant. Have you ever cock blocked a friend? <laughs> no. That's a lie. <laughs> Me! <laughs> Me! You? Yes! <laughs> Has someone complained about your breath after kissing them? <laughs> <laughs> yes! No! True? No, Ronnie, no! <laughs> Have you ever created a fake social media account to stalk another person? <laughs> hell yeah! She said, hell yeah! Yes! True. Oh, we all have. Are you surprised by how intense this season is? Yes. True. Do any of the boys on this season have a crush on either of you twins? Yes. True. Ooh. Mm -hmm. That's the tea. Have you ever been scared being in the car with Vanessa before? Yes. <laughs> True. <laughs> okay, ask, ask me those questions. I'll say the same thing. <laughs> All right, well, that was some juicy things we learned about everyone. Yeah. They become annoying. Hold on. I feel no, very exposed. In a loving way. I, I just want to know who Nessa thinks is cute out of the guys that we all liked. Huh? Oh. That. Anyway, <laughs> all right, you guys, subscribe to Nessa's channel, subscribe to Franny's channel, subscribe to our channel, but most importantly, subscribe to Awesomeness TV. Woo! Stay tuned for the trailer of season two of Twin My Heart. There's a lot that's going on. Oh my goodness guys, gracious. It's been extremely stressful. It's intense. This so, season's uh, intense. Y'all don't want to miss you it. Don't want to miss it. Right you now. don't want to miss it. it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye.